John, I'll send you a link so we can get one of the shirts. All right, cool. All right, we are live on YouTube for Fresh Vinyl, Episode 3. That's what's up. Welcome to our show. We got Chris Dunaway. Say hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. It's okay. <laughs> I think he's frozen again. Yeah. All right, we got David, Eric Dopko, John Sanowski from Kaiju hey, Act. Yep. Ryu Hayabusa. We're going to go with Ryu, right, Ryu? Yeah. All right, Ryu Hayabusa. He's got some information on us from Comic-Con in New York City. And Richie, Rich. so here, coming live from you from Fresh Vinyl Reviews. But so, wait, where's Sam? I'm trying to get Sam in, but I don't know. Maybe he's electrocuting himself again or something. Yeah, let's let's try to get him. Let me try send him another thing here. But um, yeah, for some reason I'm trying to send him in, but it's not letting me send him an invite for some reason. So John, you're 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 super dark. I can't see your face. Uh, all right. Let me say. Better. Is that better? That's better. That's better. You you were just in a complete shadow before. Okay. I'm here. Cool. All right. I got to do a quick shout out to a couple crazy cats down in uh, Long Island right now. Uh, you guys might be familiar with him. His name's Mike Russo. He's getting married, and the rest of the goon squad down there is doing the wedding festivity. So, shout out to Mike Russo for getting married. Congratulations. Welcome to the club. Congratulations, Mike. Congrats. Right? And goon, goon squad, do it up. Make sure Brandon doesn't destroy anything, and um, go with that. All right. It's just water for now, I swear. Mine's scotch. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to run over the topic so everybody knows what we're talking about tonight. We got, we're going to talk about Diamond Wave 3, Diamond Distributors, newest figures from X+, Plus, upcoming figures from X+, Plus, and this just in, recently announced figures from X+. Plus. Boxes, should you save them or should you ditch them? Resale options, getting those damn tails on because sometimes it's just a pain in the ass. <laughs> How the weather affects your figures. Being an addict, we're all addicts, especially for fresh vinyl. Uh, to buy or not to buy is the question. We're going to talk about SH Monster Arts. We're going to talk about film errors. We're going to talk about Godzilla 2014, the teaser trailer, and some other stuff. And we're going to have a movie discussion on Godzilla 54. That's right, the original Japanese one without Raymond Burr. That's all i got to say about that for now. So, anybody want... Say anything before we get going? No, Retail just... Options. Getting those damn tails off, because sometimes it's just a pain in the ass. <laughs> How about yeah. affect your figures? Being an addict, we're all addicts. Oh, shoot, why do I hear an addict? Uh, to buy or not to buy is the question. We're going to talk about <laughs> every sponsor. Who's got, who's got the video <laughs> on? What's up with that? 2014, <laughs> the teaser trailer, and some other stuff. And we're going to... That... Who's, uh... Is somebody watching it? Keith, are you watching it? No. <laughs> Where is the echo coming from? That's bizarre. I thought there's somebody else chiming in there. <laughs> Somebody's like clowning That's yourself. That's what I thought. I'm like, I only see four heads. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, I don't hear it now. Well, that's a good thing. Well, I'm going to pull it up just so I can see the comments, but I'm going to mute it. But um, that was a little weird. Just a tad. All right. So, Sam. Aaron, that, who's uh, somebody watched? Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. We're good now. We're good. All right. So let's just start this off. We're lollygagging here. Diamond Wave Three. So, Ryu, what did you see for Wave Three at uh, Comic Con? Well, they had nothing there in terms of Wave 3 uh, uh, poses. They just had the Wave 1 characters and Wave 2. They had, uh, you saw the Gargantuan, but just the Sandy. For some reason, the other one was missing. Just the arm was there hanging around. They had the 54 Godzilla. They had uh, GMK, and they had the Mecha Godzilla. I uh, spoke with a couple of them over there, asked them when are they going to finally ship them out. And truthfully, they don't really know. Asking them, they was like saying, maybe at the end of the month, 
I'm thinking that we're going to probably, they're going to probably ship them at the end of the month, but we're probably not going to get it till maybe first, second week November. Hmm. Wasn't Mechagodzilla and Godzilla 54, I thought those were already supposed to be shipped. I thought they were supposed to be available already, yeah. Yeah. They're supposedly, but they're in the warehouse right now, but they haven't shipped them yet to the any of the comic book companies or the other distributors to us yet. Ah. Uh. Well, I'm anxiously, anxiously awaiting the Gargantua set. Now, Dave, you have the Gargantua set, right? The original build-up kit? You know, I did. I, I kind of stupidly passed on the figures when they were available from X+, Plus, the pre-painted ones. And then um, I've always loved that those two characters. They're one of, my, one of my favorite Toho movies. Anyway, I saw them for really, really super cheap, unbuilt model kits on eBay. They were like 60 bucks a piece. So I picked them up, and I knew I knew I could do a pretty good paint job, and and you know, build them up myself, and, and actually love the way they turned out. And and I'm debating whether to get a second set or not, but I probably won't because there's there's, there's too many new things out there. But I just want to see what their paint job looks like, you know. Yeah, yeah I mean, if from X plus standards, it doesn't. It looks like that we're in for a treat because from the prototype pictures they showed. And the actual uh, gargantuan figures that we've seen, I think, at the Comic-Con in the summer, San Diego, they look pretty damn good. Cool. That's great. Well, I'm, I'm glad that everybody's going to get a chance to get them because they are really super detailed figures, and they're some of the best, in my opinion, that X-Plus has put out so far. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I'm, just, I'm just psyched that you guys are going to be able to get them. Mm. So that and, would be and you. you you could always do what I do too. If you don't like the paint job, you can touch it up a little bit, you know. Which, which we we could talk about too. Mm. I, I like to bring that up. Some people are totally cool with touching up figures and customizing them. Some people are dead set against it. So, anyway, if if, if we have time, we can talk about that too. We got four hours, so okay. after four hours, we get kicked off YouTube. <laughs> the night is young. It's Chris. Right. Back. Chris is back. Chris, can you good to go? Yeah, I think. I'm having all kinds of weird difficulties over here, but I'll keep working on it. All right. Hi, Chris. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hey, Chris. Hey. Hopefully I can manage to stay longer than 30 seconds at a shot. Uh, okay. So. You're here in spirit. Yeah, here we go. All right. So where, so where, are you, where are you coming from? I'm not doing it right. I'm coming from Marietta, Ohio. Okay, cool. Cool. You're out uh, on the West Coast, aren't you? I'm Seattle, yeah. It's only 5'11 here. Oh, boy. Mm. <laughs> Big time right, change so, difference. Yeah. Big time change difference, yeah. <laughs> All right, so wave two was the Gargantuas, Godzilla 2001. What was the other one? That's it? Uh, That's it? No. Oh, that was it. And then was wave, and wave three, we got... Moran, the 64. Godzilla 64 and, and, and Ninja. Ninja. So, for those guys that are watching, if you want to get X Plus figures, Diamond is releasing these figures. So go to your local comic book shops and tell them, hey, I want these, and you're gonna get them for me, basically. So I'm, do all of them for you. I'm curious to see if the quality stays the same as the ones that are you know, the original issues to see if they've gone down in quality or the paint jobs are different, and the boxes. I'm curious to see how that's going to all pan out. Yeah, um, I imagine they'll have different boxes. I have, um, when I went over to Diamonds, i never seen the original 54, but the paint job was awesome. The GMK, I actually have the original one. When I saw their version, it looks exactly the same. So cool, that's good. I don't think there's going to be any differences besides the box art. Awesome. That's good. Absolutely. Was the 54 color or was it the monochrome? It was actually colored. Colored? Yeah. Wow. I thought it was black and white. No, it's not working. It's not working. It will come up. This is the Rick Boy with the colored one, the monochrome. Right? Yeah. I'm perfectly satisfied with my monochrome one. I, I love the black and white. I think it pops. And, oh, yeah, you got oh, there's a color one right there. Yeah. Cool. It doesn't yeah. have that much color, really. No, it's not really that much. I mean, yeah, it's, 
it's it's a pretty accurate figure. I mean, it, it looks definitely like it stepped right out of the movie. In my yep. opinion. One thing good about X Plus. Yeah, from the the pictures really don't do it justice. When you see it live, I was like, wow, I'm glad I pre-ordered that one. Yeah, the only, the only one that I'm really I just I just look kind of GMK. I'm gonna pick that guy up. The um, I don't I don't have actually John, you, you changed my mind about that one. Which one? The uh, GMK 30 centimeter. Oh. Uh, I mean, I I was sort of on the fence about it. You posted badass pictures, and now I like have it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. It's, it's a great figure. It's, it's not super movie accurate, but. <laughs> Wait, I hear kids now. I'm hearing kids. Who's got okay. the kids? <laughs> yeah. Tell your tell your mom to make a lemon shake out of it. What? Making lemon shake. <laughs> Who said that? That ain't coming from here. <laughs> well, I don't know where that comes from. <laughs> She's dripping in sweat, whatever. <laughs> Does anybody have a TV on? No. Uh -huh. No. Is it your Must be cross wires at YouTube. That is not flesh. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. I don't know how to fix that, but so so who's got what coming from the from the new uh, diamond ones? Who, who wants what? I'm just getting the gargantuous. I have everything else. I just want the GMK. Uh, I got. The, I got the. Go ahead. I got the G54 on pre-order, and I'm planning to get the Gargantuans. And I'm kind of debating whether or not to get the 64. No. I can move to Antarctica. Yeah, I got the, the 54 coming, uh, the GMK, and the Gargantuas. Cool. I ordered the uh, Mecha Godzilla, and uh, I'm probably going to go after the Varan and the, the Minya, because I don't have them. How many Mecha Godzillas does one need, for God's sake? Jeez, I mean, yeah, kid, this is going to be three for me. Uh, oh, you, are you, is he one of your favorites? Mech, actually, no. Um, I, I, I've come to like him a lot more since I got into this big Godzilla uh, X Plus kick. Um, I just got the. Uh, I'm, I've just been. I'm addicted. You know, and I'm like being, I'm somewhat completionist. Uh, right around the time that the. Um, 25 centimeter Mecha Godzilla 74 came out. That was like at the height of my. I have to get them all, even if I'm, you know, even if I, you know, it's not exactly a favorite. Um, I'm out of that now. That's good. <laughs> be more selective from now on, but there's still plenty more X Plus coming up in in my future. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's there's some good stuff that they haven't done yet, and I'm totally looking forward to. I mean, it, it's just like. I used to be into the model kits, but now with these, you just open the boxes, stick the tail on, which I'll learn how to do better, and uh, put them on the shelf. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I was always afraid to get the kits, so I, I actually really never did. I only actually ever got one and put that together and did a really botched up job, but I still have it. Which one was uh, it? It's, I have it right here, in fact. Let's see. You see this here? Yeah. Is that, is that the Max, Max Factory 89? I think so. No, I don't think it's the 89. No, it's the... Uh, uh, 91? Versus King Ghidorah. Because okay. it came with the... Uh, 91. The, uh, oh. But you really can't see it, but it's really uh, not put together well at all. There's gaps and it's just it's terrible. But that was like, uh, I don't know, 10 years ago. That was one of my first ones, too. That's one of the first vinyl kits I ever put together, and I did a pretty shitty job, too. And then but, the best. but I constructed it, and I put it back, and I used epoxy sculpt, and it's perfect now. So. Well, but, maybe I can get some of that and try and fix it up. Yeah, it's definitely fixable. I mean, it's trial and error, guys. You got, you're going to make some that aren't going to be the greatest, but once you, you learn the techniques, you can pretty easily, you know, build a kit in no time. Dave, can I ask you about this? Um, 
When I when I touch this, it feels sticky. Is that supposed yeah. to be that way? No, it's not. Um, it's probably some kind of a residue left on the vinyl when they took it out the mold. Yeah, that would have been. Uh, has it always been that way, or it just became that way? It became that way with age. Oh, that, that I don't know because some, some, a lot of times you get the vinyl and you stick the touch. It's just because when they, they pulled the vinyl from the mold, there's still a residue on it. And uh, that, that's easy. You know what you try? try there's a stuff called, um, I forget what it's called. It's like an orange solvent. Goo gone. Try that with water down with water and a paper towel. That's that's, that's special. What's it called? Goo gone. All right, I'll ask you about it later. Okay, cool. That's good. Okay. All right. Let's move on to our next topic, which is the newest figures we got. We already kind of talked about that. So, what is the newest? It could be X plus. It could be anything. What's the newest stuff you guys got? I'm gonna go get mine. I'll pull mine up then. Wait, yeah. The, the most recent figure I got was the 25 centimeter Baragon, which was right after I got the um, the standing version. So now I have two, and uh, Rich is the one who put me into getting that. Where are these kids coming from? <laughs> I I really don't know where that's coming from. It is so annoying. Nice. This is the uh, 25 centimeter Type B Ultraman, which is such a kick-ass figure. I don't know if any of you guys have it or are getting it. I highly recommend it. And the best thing about it, aside from being completely, totally accurate, it's not top-heavy. It stands perfectly. Nice. Because the ones in the, the firing position, all the time. Nice stands okay. Yeah, I, I have that one, the C type, and he stands fine. All of them, though, are kind of you know a little teetery. Just be careful because you can really get some scuffs if they do that, and we'll talk about that later, which is yeah. the net, whatever. But this one, I'm so psyched. He stand. He doesn't even need this stand. I just keep it on there because. But seriously, guys, if you like Type B, it's 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 amazing. I'm totally happy with it, and um, it's it's I think it's the best one they came out with so far. And it's pretty cheap. I mean, there's one on eBay now, 135 bucks. Oh wow! Um, yeah, it's uh, some some. I think Avid Hobbies is is the guy selling it, and um, he's usually super expensive. But for some reason, I I, I think you should pick it up because that's, that's a really great price for it. I might try to track that one down now because I have the uh, C type standing, and I just saw. Uh, which we'll talk about later, the A-type standing coming out, and I definitely want to get that, so I may as well try and get all three now. So I'm I want all three now, you know, because <laughs> yeah. they stand, and they, but I don't want to buy the light-up feature one. I want the plane just without the light-up. Yeah, I, I have to get the light-up. Uh, I, I do. I don't know if it's just me or what, but I, I have a bad track record with them. They don't always work. Um, but the, this latest one I got, the... Um, uh, C type standing Rick Boy with the lights. At first, it didn't work at all. It, it, it the the um the it's supposed to have like a steady blue light on the color timer, or you can switch it to a blinking red light. All I could get was a blinking blue light with blinking eyes. Oh. It was totally messed up. But uh, I wiggled it a little bit, and it, it works fine now. But you know what? Most of the time, 99.99 and 44th one hundredths percent of the time, <laughs> it's, not, it's not plugged in. It's just on my shelf, and it, you know I can light it up when I want to. And it stands fine by itself. None of my Ultramans are on their stands, and and they stand fine. You know the ankles rotate, right? Yes, 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 yes. yes. That, that I do know. Okay. What do you got, Rich? All right. So I got the 25-centimeter Mechagodzilla 74 with the base. With the awesome, very awesome base. <laughs> I don't know how well you guys have seen that, but um, okay, you know what? I'll just look. Preparing your dinner. So, this is the base. Let me talk about the base real quick. It's the Fermilio's. Oh my god! That's all it is. Oh, that's lame. Oh. Hey, your secret base. It comes with instructions too. Oh my god! You know, so it's kind of growing on me. You know, you, there you go. 
That's the look you're supposed to be going for. So, the hell with the base. Let's talk about the figure. It has a figure. I will say, this is a pretty great we, representation. We, we hey, if you know, kids can hear me, shut the hell up. <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> figure, the figure is pretty badass. You know, the, the center opens up up here. It's kind of hard to open, but um, you've got to get your digits in there pretty good. <laughs> Wrist rotate, off, they all rotate at the uh, elbows. It would not like that. Mouth opens. So this is pretty done really good. Rich, how does it compare to the first edition of the 25 centimeter of 74? Man, you know, I mean, it, 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 like actually, you know, this is supposed to be as if he was in the base. So kind of. Just He's more static. You know, just great looking like that. That's how he's really supposed to look. So it's more static. It's not posing. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's like he's not really supposed to be posed, but I posed him to look like he was in, you know, like he was gonna kick some ass. But it's hard to compare. They have different paint jobs, and they're completely different poses. So I, I like the figure. I'm not very fond of the base. Is this yeah, shinier base, and cleaner base than looks like a burnt coffee cake. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Whatever, you know, I really can't complain. It's fine. Yeah. All right, so that's what I got. John, would you, uh, John? Who wants to go next? I, I kind of already went. I was just saying. Now I got the uh, 25 centimeter. I got this cat here. Meow. <laughs> this is the cat from Godzilla versus. I got the uh, 25 centimeter <laughs> Baragon because um, I was. Um, I don't know, a bullied, coaxed into getting that from someone here right after I got the standing version. That, actually, it's been a while since I've gotten a new X+. Plus. I'm, my uh, Kiryu has is like been delayed, so oh. it's been a while. Can't wait to get that. I'm not getting that one. Oh. I'm going to wait and see how, how it is. when you. I, I, just, I wait sometimes to see... What if it's, cause if it's a hit or a miss? Because some of these new ones, you know, I don't know. I'm not, I, the jury's still out on some of them. Yeah. Well, the pictures look great, and we know it's tall. We know it's not going to be short, so that's going to be a winner, I'm sure. No, oh, this Chris got one. Chris, what do you got? Uh, the last last I got here, I got the the Mecha Godzilla 74 and the Mecha Godzilla 75. Nice. 25 <laughs> centimeters. Cool. I, I like love them both. Five. I waited a little bit too long to get them. I should have got them a long time ago. I, I kick <laughs> my butt every day thinking about them, but at least I got them. Yep. That's right. They're, they're awesome. Had to overpay a little bit, but hey, that's what you got to do whenever you miss the boat. So. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Were they expensive? Yeah. Yeah, I got... Uh, I end up getting the one for 150, and the other one was 175. That's not bad. Guess, you know, not that's too not bad. bad, but no, that's not bad at all. Mm. See, a lot of times with these figures, if you're not sure, for me, I'll get it like trepidatiously, and then you could always sell it again because people will want it. You know, there's so many. Opportunities to sell it either on eBay or or uh, what's the um, uh, John Bumpus' site? You know, the, there's, there's there's people who want it all the time. So a lot of times I'll get a figure and I'm like, you know what? It's not what I thought it was going to be, and I'll just I'll just pass it on to the next person, which um, which which is about bo keeping the box or not keeping the box. You know, that's a whole other thing too. Yeah, we'll get all to that good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Ryu, what'd you get recently? Well, uh... You got a bunch of crap, man. Just, tell <laughs> us everything. Just show well, us the list. Well, there was a, actually, you know, everyone knows there was a controversy with Toy Base. I actually bought a few of those figures before I found out about yeah. that. Oh, shoot. Yeah, the guy who, who st stole it, right? Well, Mike Johnson's friend. Yeah. I had actually gotten the Rick Boy 64... Another one, uh, Rick Boy, 85, 25 centimeters, and uh, 92, 30 centimeters from them. Wow, yeah. Yeah, this is the... Nice. 
This was this is a very hard one to get. Every time I look for it, it goes between four to six hundred dollars. I was able to get it from them for two twenty. That's not bad at all. I've seen that for like over four hundred bucks exactly. everywhere else. Exactly. You know, I mean, it's he about originally marked for three fifty, and I talked him down to two twenty. That's awesome. Good for you, Ryu. Yeah. See, that's how you gotta you gotta hunt them down. Yeah. My most recent though um, items I got were actually though uh, the Blu-rays, the Japanese Godzilla Blu-ray movies. I got great uh, movies. Cool. These. these normally go for fifty to ninety-five bucks. I got about fifteen of them for only two eighty. What? I'm sorry. How much? You hear that, John? How did you do that? I actually have a friend that has um, some connections in Japan, Excellent. and apparently over there in Japan, when you look at this one, Excellent. the price tag is 5,985 yen over there. That's about 60 U.S. dollars. Yeah. And I don't know, he was able to get a lot of them for a cheap price, and these are all brand new, and he's shipping me actually uh, five more later on uh, this week. That's great. That's great. Subtitles or no subtitles? The, all the Japanese Blu-rays, they're not subtitles. They're all straight Japanese, even the menu and stuff. That's fine. That's fine. That's, yeah, that's something we'll probably talk about another one because uh, it's actually uh, the, the sound picture quality is excellent. Oh. If you don't know Japanese, it could be a little hard to go through the menu, but, you know, just trial and error, trial and error, and you'll get through it. Yeah, I did that one because I have Godzilla 84 and Godzilla vs. Destroyer. And you know, I worked my way right into the movie, into the bonus features and everything. So, cool. Really, and that's the great thing about United States and Japan is that our DVD Blu-ray players are in the same region code. So, we're good to go. There's no issue with that, obviously. That's awesome. Um, Tim Crane, he he was at G Fest. He's one of those Goon Squad dudes. He got all his Blu-rays. He knows somebody that. Put subtitles to all of his, and he has like about eight or nine of them. Wow! So there is a way to do it. I I don't know. I don't have to ask him, but he had them playing at G Fest behind Greg Cordaro's. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong, Greg. But um, at a radioactive toys table at G Fest in the dealer room with the subtitles. So there's a way to do that. I don't know how though. And still in the without um, without losing any sound quality or picture quality. Yep. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how how it's done. I'd have to ask him. I'll have to ask him, and I'll touch base on that. Well, you know what, Rich? You know we've seen these show movies so many times. Do I really need subtitles anymore? Exactly. Really. That's like with Godzilla '84 and Destroy. I know this story, so I don't really care about subtitles. It's only if you watch it with someone else, and no one else ever wants to watch it. So there it is. Yep. My wife, for example, I watched Destroy on Blu-ray. It's all Japanese, and my wife's like, I wish I knew what they were saying. Like, <laughs> talking about Godzilla and how he's going to destroy the world. There you go. <laughs> Actually, Keith really likes GMK. Yeah. That's the one, that's the one that he did. He, he watches that with me, so it's cool. Dan. How's it going? What's up, Dan? <laughs> Dan Mason in the house, everybody. Another X Plus Collectors Group member. Ooh, yeah. I'm Dan, the, we were just I'm talking about... um. I gotta get a beer. Hi, Dan. How's it Dan, going? We're just, we're just talking about um, the most recent things we got in our collection. What was that? Yeah, well, at least we don't hear any kids anymore. <laughs> but um, we were talking about the most recent thing we got. Like, what was your most newest aqua uh, acquisition? Uh, I just opened up Giron and uh, Type B Ultraman yesterday. Nice. So. Type B Ultraman, looking very nice. It's awesome, Dan, isn't it? Are you totally happy with it? I love it. I love it. It's my one of my favorite Ultraman figures ever, hands down. I had no Type B in my collection. I've got a bunch of Type Cs, CCP, Type Cs, X Plus Type Cs. Uh, no Type B, so it's awesome to finally get one. And B, B, in my opinion, is the best, the best suit. It's the best of both suits. It's more organic, but it's still kind of starting to get muscular and angular, and I love the pointy shoes. Yeah, the the type C like it, the lips are kind of goofily big. The type B, I kind of like the you know, it's got a, like a V shape to the face, so it's more interesting. Yeah, it's, so. it's it's badass, <laughs> and I'm telling these guys who don't have it, if you it, it's an Ultraman, it's it's really a great figure. And well, I mean, I was I was looking it up. It's already sold out like everywhere. It's crazy. 
There was one on eBay this morning for 135 bucks. Oh, there you go. It's probably okay. gone right now, but I mean, somebody might want to sneak off and check it out if they want to get it. So. But uh, as far as Giron, um, I had the Rocket Pro figure, which is a great figure, but uh, the X Plus one, I gotta say, it's better. There's like details in the eyes. These little tiny veins in the eyes, like you know, X Plus pulls off these things you can't even see it when you look at the prototype pics, and then you get it in your hand, you're like, well, holy shit, look at that, you know? So I'm pretty happy with it. Cool. Are you, are you guys all doing the gamer stuff too? I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna go with all the Showa gamer Gamera stuff. Uh, hopefully, they'll release uh, Jiger and Zebra pretty soon. So. Oh, they will. They definitely will. Yeah. I do have a Baragon, uh, which is my favorite monster, but I'm probably going to sell him because he's the only one I have, and he's kind of lonely. So um, it's a beautiful figure, and it's nice and big, but I think I'm going to have to sell him pretty soon. That that particular movie is the best of the classic Gamera movies. It's got just a weird, dark tone to it, and there's that psychotic dude in it that's like always beating the shit out of everybody every two seconds. I love that movie. Rich, are you doing camera? I'm no? only doing the Heisei camera. Yeah, well, that's you. Do you have uh, more stuff there. to buy because it, it, I'm, I'm, I see that stuff. I'm like, well, at least I get a break for a minute because you know it's. I just don't have any interest in the Heisei stuff. I mean, it's cool. The movies are good, but I really, I don't know. I'm gonna, have, I'm, I'm just gonna s stick with the show stuff. Yeah. See, that's the. And I, 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 could, I could see where you're coming from. I couldn't get into the show of camera films for some reason. I, I, I don't know if it was just because of how they were filmed, but I've never really given them any, a, really a fair watch, and I really need to, you know, because I really can't judge them, and, I'm, you know, and it wouldn't be fair if I did. But I've never really watched the show of camera films and absorbed anything that happened in them. Not because I wasn't interested, it's just, uh, some other collection and interest consumed everything when I was young. Watch, watch Gamma vs. Baragon, like Dan said. That's the best in the series, I think. And it's dark, and, and it starts off a little slow, but um, it's good. If you, get, if you watch the Japanese version with um, August Ragon's commentary, it's pretty interesting. He tells you all about it. And, yeah. and that, so, um, I'll, have to give it a, I'll have to give it a watch through. I think I see Baragon... Gamma vs. Baragon when I was a kid. But I, I, maybe I probably watched it once, unfortunately. Gamera yeah. vs. Gauss is pretty good. Um, it's It kind of gets a little bit more into being a kid's movie, but once you get past that, they just become total little kid fantasy movies, just like little boy fantasy. And they still have, like, starting with Gamera vs. Viras, it's just pure little boy fantasy. But it's they still have cool monster battles. Just fast forward through all the, like, Goofy crap, and just get to the cool monster battles. We, well, you know what, Dan? In the entire series, the only one without a kid is Gamma vs. Baragon. All even yeah. the Gamma has a kid in it, so yeah, it's, it's definitely taken the most serious in the whole. You know, even you know, I don't know. If the, the newer ones don't have kids, do they? Or no? No, they don't. Right? Gamma the Brave yeah. did. Oh, Gamma the yeah. Brave did. Right, 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 right. But. It's okay. There's there's enough other stuff that's holding my attention. You know, I, I'm I'm limiting myself to Godzilla, you, the Toho universe, and then um, the original 39 Ultraman. I'm not even doing the Ultra Q. Too. I love it, but it's too much. It's too much. See, that's the thing I'm afraid of. Like, I I, I start like I said, I briefly started watching Ultra Q, and instantly I was like, let me go look at the uh, Gomez figure. And I was like, ooh. And then I was like, no, no, like, don't even, don't even do it. I sold mine. <laughs> cheap, Rich. I sold mine for like fifty bucks. Yeah, I mean, and then I even looked at like the Bandai figure, and that's like seventy bucks. I'm like, like, do I really need to start a whole other sub collection? Because my wife puts up with this shit enough as it is. And I'm lucky I've gotten all this crap out. No. <laughs> I'm actually in the same boot as Rich. I'm, I'm relatively newer compared to y'all guys. But as Rich knows, i got been getting a bunch of new items, been checking Yahoo, Mandrake, 
And some of my friends said, check out Ultraman. I said, we right no, back I'm already getting Godzilla figures. I can't get into the Ultraman figures as well. It's just too much right now. <laughs> yeah, especially, yeah. you know, we'll roll right into our next topic. You know, and Ryu, like he's saying, it's a bit too much. I mean, especially now that we have uh, Godzilla 2000, Hedra, Gamma 99 that were just announced, and Space Godzilla is coming, and the 62 Rick Boy King Goji is coming out too, and that's not including any newer Ultraman stuff. Wait, that and also Kiru as well. Wait, which which 62? They're they're releasing that they're, one in 30 centimeter. They're re-releasing the 30 centimeter with light up effects, like the oh, 64. No way. Wow. Yeah, and I can't wait to get that because I was like, maybe I'll hold out for um. No, John left. I'll hold out for the um, maybe Diamond would do it, but then they Rick Boy's doing it. it was like sold. And gotta ask me twice. Well, you know, at least the '64, the light up fin one, the mouth was different. You know, the '62 is the exact same figure, which I love. So I'm probably gonna pass on that just just for the light up effect. But um, it, it's great that you, and again, you guys can get a chance to get a figure that is one of the best in the series. Mm. But um, if people's not interested in the light up fins, I noticed now in Yahoo Japan they're selling out the old regular 62. So if people's not interested in the light up, they could try to probably get the old 62, which are starting to be um, dropping prices now, expecting for the Rick Boy. Yeah, well, I, love, I love the light up 64. Don't get me wrong, I'm totally happy with that. That is like a beautiful figure, right? Rich, it's great, right? Because you guys all 64, to me, that is. Toy of the year, figure of the year for me. I, have to, I I might agree with that. I'm pretty 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 close to agreeing with that. That's, that's I mean, I know it's a reissue, but it's still new, you know. But I mean, hands down, you know, if I had if it wasn't for what year it was released, I'd have a tie, be, a real hard decision choosing between the Giga Brain King Ghidorah, King Ghidra, oh, and four. Woo. I, I still have the 64 that you sold me, David. I, I kept that one, and I have the light-up one. Yeah, you know what? I was so on the fence about that, Dan. I'm like, should I sell it? But I, I may buy the other one, again, just to have the open mouth, too. But you, what I did to yours, the mouth on the, on the original release of the 64 is a little bit off. It's yeah. out too far. So the bottom jaw basically is out a little bit too far on most of the releases, so it's... It, it, only someone like me would notice it, but I actually cut it and put it back so it's perfectly the way it's movie accurate. So I don't know if you noticed that. Well, but and I noticed you you filled it in, and man, it looks very it. clean. I also filled it in, yeah. So there's no real gap there, but there's still you can tell that it's, yeah. I mean, it when you guys get it, you'll see the bottom jaw. It's just a little off, and that I don't know if you you've, you guys have had that problem with your X Plus figures like I have. My King Caesar, when I got it, the jaw was completely fucked up. It was off to the side and open, and boy, I was pissed. I'm like, this is this sucks. What am I gonna do? And then, you, how, how do you send it back to Hobby Search? You know, you just don't. Yeah. Do, right. So I just took my exacto knife and I cut cut it out. I realigned it, puttied it back up, and you can't tell the difference now. But. Um, has anyone else had that problem with their with their figures with being off or anything? Yeah. I've had a figure off on my 89, my Rick Boy, but it was at the eyes. One eye was a little darker than the other. Oh, uh, see, that that I'm scared to touch. I don't want to touch the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the eyes, you know, that that's what I would say. The first thing I look at, I don't know if you guys can agree to this, when you open up your box, after the excitement dies down, you look at the eyes, see if the eyes are fucked up or not. Because... Uh. I mean, if the eyes are bad, it's really hard to duplicate that in a paint job. But not not wood. I've been pretty lucky with my eyes so far. I, don't know. I haven't had that problem. I guess I'm just lucky. See, that's like on the Godzilla 2004, the 30 centimeter. He's got googly eyes. One's going that way. The other one. Oh, really? Yeah, it's. It doesn't. You really can't tell because. His eyes are so set back, you know, they're deep that you can't really see him, and it's overshadowed. So you'd have to shine a light like right up, up in his face to see to see the googly eyed effect. Is that a good figure, Rich? I enjoy it. 
Now, just for the figure itself, you want to know how I feel how I feel about Godzilla Final Wars? I watched watch it this morning. Video. <laughs> I watched it this morning. Oh, I did a new one. I did a, I just did a new one like an hour before because a lot of people were asking, you know, how I really felt. So I it's like a 14 minute video of how I really feel about it. Well, well your old one, I agree with 100. percent I have no words. It, that was my point. Is like I have I have no opinion. So I I sold all my stuff from from the uh, Final Wars because mm. I just can't, I don't even want any representations of that. Just yeah. Movie, you know. But anyway. But um, the figure. The figure is pretty badass, I will say. I enjoy the figure. It just sucks because, you know, the movie... Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'd say, really, the problem isn't with go. the painting of the eyes. The problem is with how they set the eyebrows. Um, one of the eyebrows is set, I think, kind of the way they molded it. Let me see. Yeah, the, the left eyebrow is sitting just a little bit too high. Um... I don't know if y'all can really see it right now, but that's really what gives them that kind of pirate, like the urgh, pirate yeah. look, is it's the molding of the eyebrows. The painting of the eyes, I mean, it looks like these were painted by some kind of a machine. There's no way that a human hand painted that little tiny detail. Um, it's, it's, it's a flaw in the, in the sculpt of the individual little eyebrows. So um, it's still an amazing looking figure, though. I mean, I love this suit. A lot of people say it looks like a rat. But, I mean, it's like, what kind of rats do you have living in your area? <laughs> this is what rats look like. Um, or that it's too skinny. But I don't hate the suit, Dan. I just hate the movie. Yeah, the movie, yeah. man, I mean, the highest budget Godzilla movie ever made. And just a total waste. They should have gotten Shusuke Kaneko, who did GMK, to direct that movie. And, I mean, GMK, to me, is just blows away all the other Millennium movies. Well, Godzilla 2000 comes pretty close to me. Well, see, um, I, I'm going to give you an unpopular thing. I like Godzilla vs. Megaguirus better than 2000. Hmm. I mean, it's not perfect. There's a, there's a, the first half of the movie is great, and then once the, the, the second half isn't as strong, but I think Godzilla 2000 just really misses the mark. You know, the, the thing that gets me the most is it's oddly when he's standing there getting bombarded by all that artillery, he just stands there. It's just like, what were they thinking? Move, react, something. And yeah. it, it, there, there's, there's certain things in, in some of the newer movies that just irk me to no end, and it's just like, I don't know what they were thinking, you know? But but anyway, the, I, I love the suit, and I know that's one of the topics, Rich, is the Godzilla 2000. I'm so stoked to get that figure because it they they really got it down. I mean, that if, if, if the prototype looks like the real one that we're getting, I'm so happy with that. I mean, and, and seriously, there's not one person that bitched about it. No. 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 Not one person. No haters out there. It's, I believe that whatever you feel about the movie, love it or hate it, everyone could pretty much agree that that is That's one great. of the badass, best suits there is. It's great. It's a, it's a new design. Everyone likes it. And if they kill, if they do a great job on the paint job, I may have to say that might be the figure of the year. It might mm. be. Yeah, definitely. With those pink, pur purplish, red spines, that's going to yeah. look kick ass. Gonna Especially, look kick -ass. I, I'm curious to see how they're going to do with the uh, Rick Boy. I want to see if they're going to get the color right when it, it glows. I'm probably just going to go for the standard. Me too. Really? Well, here's the thing about if they're doing glowing fins on that is. When he, he he has purple fins, but when his fins light up, they're bright orange. So, mm -hmm. is the Rick boy gonna have bright orange fins, or yeah? You know? That's what I'm curious about. We'll find yeah, out I soon don't enough, I guess. Right. They're they're not gonna if they get that detail right, then they're pretty on it because that's a really you know subtle detail that you know I didn't even I didn't even remember that I haven't seen that one in a while. I actually saw that in the movies too. I actually forgot about it until I talked to Chris earlier. He reminded me about that. And I was just about to order the Rick Boy version on the Rick Boy site. I came okay. upon an error, and I said, you know what? Let me wait to see the final paint job. You always got to wait to see the paint job because, you know, it could be – I, mean, I guess you don't, but most of the time they're, they're right on. But a couple times they've, they've missed the mark, and they've been a little weak. But um, I'm, I'm, I just can't believe – that not one person had something seriously negative to say about it because you you know as well as, as I do there's so many haters that are like shit on the X plus figures so much 
Yeah, they'll, they'll buy those Monster Hearts ones. That's another. Never mind. We'll talk about that. <laughs> Go ahead, wait, D Dave. What were you gonna say about Monster Hearts? Um, you know, the the only one that I have is the sixty four. Uh, I don't like any of the other ones. I think they're pretty poorly done. Um, you know, the eyes were off. The, I actually had one and I sold it. Um, I, I I like the uh, the the, the Revoltech are superior. I think I have the Mothra, which is beautiful. The Rodan is amazing. Um, I don't have the Baragon or the Mogera, but they they look pretty cool too. But you know, I just my favorite suit is the sixty four, yeah. and sixty four slash from Mothra and Deidre three headed monster. So I pretty much get everything that's in that suit. And um, I think the little, it's smaller, it's, it's kind of tiny, but it's, it's a beautiful figure. It's well done. You know, I, what do you guys think? Oh, there he is. <laughs> it's the legs. It's like the bottom half and that gap on the dorsal plates that kind of throws me off. Yeah, and a lot of, this is a lot coming of from a, Go ahead, I'm sorry, Dave. I said a lot of people hate that gap. I mean, aside from that, though, it's, it's pretty good, right? No? I like the face. The face looks great. Yeah. Go ahead, Ryu. I think it's actually a pretty good figure. I don't mind the size. Um, I think um, um, if they start yeah, doing right. the more show ups, they're probably going to put it in this scale. Yeah. If that's the case, I'm cool with that. The gap, it bothers me a little, but I usually don't have them to the side. I usually have them facing forward, so I don't see it. So I got over that. But other than that, I think it's very good. Let I us see it. Throw it in front of the today. camera. I think it's a cool figure. Can you can you put it up in front of the camera again? Yeah. Cause I'm yeah. See, Oop, let me shut up. Yeah, there's that gap that everyone's talking about. Yeah. People ask, can you straighten him out? That's as far as you go. If you try to go anymore, you'll just snap him off the body. Yeah, I seen a review that somebody did like that. Yeah. I mean, the head looks great. You know, the head I think looks awesome. Yeah. Nailed it. The tail. It's just like, what have you seen in your uh, Kiru? It's very yeah. articulated as well. Yeah. Some of the I'm, best tail. Hell, that looks even better than Kiru's tail, because Kiru's tail goes... All right, well, yeah, they're equally... Yeah. I still love this figure. This, this guy's badass. Yeah, that's a badass one, yeah. Well, we'll touch base on SH Monster Arts in a little bit. All right. So... Um... Nice, Dave. What's that? This is the um, wow. the West Kenji um, Godzilla 2000 that I built in probably like I don't know. I guess it got the year after it came out, but it's it's pretty good. It's pretty accurate, and I love the pose on it. And um, I took a few liberties with the painting, but it's pre it's pretty close. But it's That's a it's awesome. It's the only. Um, it's the only one I have of, of this year, really. That's this 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 um this size. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool looking. Yeah, I like that one as well. Thanks. So, did Wes Kenji do like all super deformed stuff and then some like accurate? Because I have like the Wes Kenji super deformed figures, and then I have the built up Wes Kenji GMK, which is like twelve inches tall. Yeah, that's 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 a massive kit. Um, yeah, they they did like one or two realistic, but they most of their stuff is super deformed, I think. But they also did an '84, which I don't have, which is pretty good. They they did a very accurate 1984, um, 30 centimeter size, which um, I'm actually trying to find. It was really cheap. It was like 60 bucks when it came out, and I passed on it. But um, and now now you just don't even see it anymore. But I have the West Kenji uh, GMK Baragon, and that is just perfect. It's a perfect yeah. figure. I've never seen. I don't think I've ever seen that one. I had tucked behind a bunch of other figures on my shelf back there. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd go grab it. <laughs> po po uh, stick it on your site one of these days. Love to see it. Maybe I'll grab oh. it in a little bit. Yeah, cool. All right. So, what do we got next? Who's getting Space Godzilla? Anybody? Oh yeah, yeah. Pass. I'm in for that. Yeah. yeah, I'm getting that. I'm sure Kyle's getting that because Kyle yeah. he loves Godzilla versus Space Godzilla, right, Kyle? Yeah. 
John, are you getting that one? <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Rip Boy. I'm, I'm the only one passing on that one. I just had absolutely no desire to get that that figure. I, I don't like the movie. I think the figure is a little, I mean, it's a little heavy. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see when it comes out. I, I might be completely wrong, but I, I, I'm passing on that guy. I don't know. I just need more non-Showa stuff in my collection. That's the main reason why I'm getting them. Mm. <laughs> I want yeah. to get the Macaris figures. Not that I have anything in Showa. I love Showa. I'm just saying. I just I want more high set, Heisei and uh, Millennium stuff. Yeah. I agree with you on that. No, I'm gonna. I, 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 my wish would be that they'd finish all of the show stuff before they started to go down this road. And you know, yeah. X Plus is is so random. You don't know what you're gonna get. But just finish off. Give us a Ghidra first. Come on, you know, before this. You, you said it, Rich. Somebody talked to you today about a, a destroyer. It's like, well, yeah, but let's get a King Ghidra first. Yeah. Destroyer. You know, I don't know what they're waiting for. I mean, all right, there's like nobody else that's doing show a King Ghidra. You know, sure, we, you know, SH Monsters did the King Ghidorah, blah, blah, blah. You know, we all know how that turned out. But the last King Ghidra figure, really, I could, if I could think of, was the Giga Brain. Now, that knocked it out of the park. Knocked it out of the park. So I'm, I'm dying to see what X Plus has up their sleeve. You know what? If they're taking their time to get it right, yeah, that's fine. I'm all for it. I'm, I'm for it. Time. But we all know, you know, they don't tease nothing until it's about a month and a half, whatever it is, before it's ori originally going to be released. So we just have to keep biting our time and waiting, which sucks. I'm but actually you know what? when it comes out, it's going to be awesome. I'm actually curious on how did they determine what uh, figure they're going to make next? It Does seems it's completely like a, arbitrary. Uh, it's completely arbitrary. I mean, unless they have some kind of a system, but. The way and, and, and the way they do it, it's like, okay, for example, the Ultraman figures. I have every one that they've come up with in the thir original 39, but they never did a Gwesra. They never did one. You, know, you guys know what that monster is? Yeah, uh, I do. <laughs> it's the one that ate the cocoa. He, li he liked the, the, the chocolate. <laughs> um, and anyway, they, they did every single figure... And not a Gwezra, but yet they'll they'll do ten Red Kings and they'll do. Oh yeah. I mean, you know, stop with the giants, stop with the the, the reborns. Although some of the reborns are great, give us just finish the series up. There's no yeah. Gwezra in my collection. It's pissing me off. It's like we didn't really need another Mechagodzilla seventy four with a shitty freaking base. I mean, come on. <laughs> Give me Kamakras. Give me Gabara. I'll totally buy a Gabara figure. Uh, I totally want a Gabara. I yeah. want it so bad. Right I'll be right back. It's time for beer. I want a Gabber so bad. I mean, just finish the show of figures, and then you can do all the Millenniums. I'm, I'm down with it, but I, I you know, I, I have a hard time buying very expensive figures of movies that I don't like. I don't like Space Godzilla. I think it's a pretty crappy movie. It's, it's one of the low points in the series for me. Um, I, I just don't. I don't like the suit. I don't. I, I don't know, and and it's just it's a big, massive figure that's going to take up some prime space on my shelf, and I just don't want it. You know, I want it, but I guess I'm in the minority. So everybody seems like they're really excited about it. I'll tell you what sells Space Godzilla for me is that that one dude with the eyes that are like half closed the whole movie, that crazy looking the pilot guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that his character, he just sells that movie for me. I love his character so much. Yeah, he's he's awesome, but the monsters suck. <laughs> he's so deadpan, and he's so like bizarre. And like at the end of the movie, he's like just sitting there smoking that cigarette. Like he, I don't know. It's like Buster Keaton entered into a Godzilla movie, just just stone faced. I don't know. I love that guy. And is he, is he the one who stabbed the tarantula from the guy's neck or something? Is that him? Yeah, 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 yeah. For some reason, he just sells that movie for me. I don't, I don't know what it is. Bob <laughs> Rich, there's a there's a saw creature in that picture. Oh shit. <laughs> now I'm scared. Now I'm scared. Hey, get out from under my camera. <laughs> what are you drinking, Dan? Uh, I got Crown and Coke with a little bit of pineapple juice in it. Single malt scotch right here. Yes. Scotch, Don, that's, the, that's the way to go. Don, what are you drinking? Fox man, Fox man. 
block man in the house, because when block day comes around, there's nothing you want to do except get block day! <laughs> it was a pink slip day for me today. What's that? It was a pink, pink slip day to, oh, for me today. Oh. How much do we hate the pink slip? So why do we call it a pink slip? It's really kind of orange. It makes me want to choke a little Godzilla. <laughs> you know, I, I would I would love to hear us all collectively. The first thing that comes out of our, our, our mouths when we see that pink slip on the door. All right, Dan, go. Fucking, I gotta drive down to the goddamn post office and wait in the line with those freaks. Okay. Mother fuck. John. Fuck. That's it. Are you? That's fuck. fuck. I work six days. I don't have time to go to a post office. <laughs> and I'm like, because I checked the damn tracker on my phone, well, you got to be fucking me. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, no, Rich, that's it. You've got to be fucking kidding. I left the house for five minutes. And it's, it, I hate it. I hate it. It's a no. fucking scam. They don't want us to have box day. I don't know who they think you are, but post office? Here's the thing with my postman. My postman doesn't even leave the pink slip. He just he just t takes the package back to the post office. And if I don't check the tracking online, I would never know that he was even going to come. Wait, you don't even get a pink slip? Polaroid. I don't even I don't even get a pink slip. Oh, you know what? Don't do not give him cookies for Christmas. I don't give him shit. No, <laughs> that's probably why I don't get a pink slip. Well, maybe you should give him cookies for Christmas. I don't know. Uh, maybe I should. <laughs> put, a, put a reverse bear trap at the, in the mailbox on him. <laughs> Did something just fall? No, Keith's getting some ice for a scotch. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. All right, so we've talked about new stuff, this stuff. Let's talk about boxes. Keep them or save them? Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Uh... The 25 centimeter boxes, I, I cut down all the plastic inside of them and toss that out, and I break the boxes down just in case I need those boxes if I want to. If I go broke someday and I have to sell all this stuff, um, the 30 centimeter boxes, I cut the art off the front, and I have God knows how much of that cover art saved because I have all the giant series figures from Ultraman. I have most of the 30 centimeter series, so I have a ton of box art. I figure one day I'm going to make like a big ass mural out of all those covers, but I mean, I don't actually keep the boxes themselves so, uh, for the 30 centimeter. I don't think it's Who's possible that? for someone like <laughs> you to keep all your boxes. Well, they're, they're gone, man. I already cut them all down. But I got I kept the art, so... I'm just saying. Uh... <laughs> to me, the art, you know, that's half, most of what people are saving them for is the art, so... I just cut the art off the front, and I've got them all saved. They're, it's like having a bunch of little mini posters. Mm. So that's a good idea. I like. That. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. It it just got too crazy. I mean, my girlfriend moved in, space got tight, and I just didn't have a choice. John, what do you do? You keep them or you save them? I'm keeping them, but I'm starting to uh, reconsider. I mean, I'm never going to sell them. Never, uh, never. So I, I really don't know why I have the boxes. See? So I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Ryu, what do you do? Originally, I was going to throw them, but um, I actually saved them. I have a spare room, and I keep my boxes in there just displayed nicely, though I'm starting to think over, should I keep them or sell them? I'm, uh, keep them or get rid of them, because I'm not planning to sell them. Mm. And Chris, what do you do? You keep yours or you chuck them? Uh, right at the moment, I happen to have everything, but I think I'm going to end up either chucking like the 25 centimeter or folding them up and putting them away or something. I'll keep the 30s for display, but the 25s, I'm going to have to do something with them. I'm getting ate up with cardboard over here. <laughs> Very true. See, I'm, I'm weird. I keep everything that comes with packaging, whether it's X plus Bandai, like, all my Bandai figures have all the tags on them. I got all my boxes from my SH Moss Arts. Um, the Yuji Sakai sets that came out a few years ago, I keep all the boxes for these, but I break them down. And I got, like, a big stack of them, all the, the Toho Chronicle vehicle sets. I keep all the 
keep all this crap. My my thought process is it's part of the figure. I should keep it. But as far as the boxes go, you know, this is my part of my wall of boxes here. Wow. Uh, <laughs> you know, and then um, some 30s over there. Do a little circle here. And then I got more 30s over there. You know, so the boxes are definitely consuming. Don't mind my rubber ducky pants, but yeah. And um, I have made the boxes work for the most part in here, but definitely becoming claustrophobic. Yeah, your boxes are kind of as a shelf, so it works for you. Yeah, yeah, because if you can see, these are all standing on top of my X-plus boxes. You know, so I'm like, shit, why not? It works. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I like Dan's idea. I think I'm going to toss... I toss most of my 25-centimeter boxes, mm. and um, I might cut out the artwork for the 30-centimeter. That's a good idea. Yeah, so at least you, know. you have something from it. Unless it's a figure that I'm kind of unsure of that I think I might want to sell, then I'll, I'll hang on to the box. Because some, some people really want it in the box, and you can get a, charge a little bit more money for the box. That's all. Yeah, see, now that, now that, you know, we'll roll right to our next topic um, for resale, you know, we've talked about either, you know, some of us are never going to sell them, but um, as far as the boxes go, you know, if I thought if I ever was going to sell them, which is not going to happen, you know, I'll cut off my uh, left arm <laughs> for whatever reasons, but um, I thought if I ever had to sell something, at least I have the original packaging to go with, you know, which would keep the value aspect of it in my mind. But um, what else can we add to resale? Resale. For anybody that's looking to buy items that are resale, like on eBay, be very careful where you're buying from because eBay sellers love to jack those prices up, which is like double or triple what the original retail price was for when these things came out. So yeah. buyer beware. Use your resources. Do your homework before you go buying any X-Plus figures off eBay, Amazon, or wherever else. That's true. Awesome. Yeah, I'll tell you what sucks also is uh, Mandarake, man. Nakano store on Mandarake, that's where I've gotten probably half of my X-Plus figures, and all of a sudden they've caught on mm. uh, to this, you know, jacking the prices up. Within the past couple weeks, all of a sudden their prices have just skyrocketed. So I'm, kind of, I'm pretty bummed out about that. Oh, that uh, sucks. That sucks. Yeah. You know that, that Mandarake shop in Nakano is, is an awesome shop. And, and if you guys ever go to Japan, make sure you go there because... You will be. I was in that mall for hours, just looking around, and, and this is before X Plus came out. Started started making this stuff, but just as far as the showcase stuff in there, it's just incredible. Mm. And, and it's just shelf after shelf of awesomeness. So please, please go if you ever go to Japan. That, that, make that one of your your number one spots to check out. Oh. Better what go. Would be, uh, like a, a good price, if any of us ever went to, to turn around and do anything on the resale, I mean, I know everybody needs to make a little bit of profit, but, uh, you know, what's going to be the limit where you're not ripping somebody off? Yeah, that's the other thing. Now, also, like... <laughs> Go, ahead. Go ahead, somebody. Go ahead, Ryan. Uh, a lot of people see prices also on eBay, and they like say, "Wow, it's outrageous." Um, I, I've gotten great deals on eBay. I recommend to people: don't be afraid to contact the seller. Try to talk them down. A lot of these people they want to sell their items, and sometimes they're willing to sell the item for a cheaper price. Just because it's listed as one price doesn't mean they'll go. They won't go lower. Try it out. Uh, Chris knows I got a lot of dealers to lower their prices considerably for me. If they lower, if they'll lower it for you. Pay right away. They'll be happy to do business with you again, and you can make a relationship with that person. Which actually, Ryu, I think um, your real name is Jorge, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think you got your Godzilla '89 from me, um, the 30 centimeter one. Yeah. Yeah, I you you contacted me on there, and you and I, I struck a deal with you. I gave you, I don't know. Pretty significant discount because eBay takes a big chunk. Uh, so if someone contacts me, I'll sell it directly through PayPal, and I'll knock a, a pretty significant amount off of the price. Um, 
it's just eBay, they take, you know, it's like 12%. So, yeah, I'd rather deal directly through PayPal. It's just sometimes it's kind of hard to get people, they're like, they're afraid to deal through Facebook or something like that. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, that's that's exactly right. Contact the seller. And, I, and Chris, also, um, you got that Gamera. Um, you were able to, to talk that seller down from, I guess, 300 to 250. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's that's really the best thing to do. I've gotten some good deals that way also. Uh, just contact people, and, and they'll, about half the time, they're willing to, to knock a pretty significant chunk off the price. You know, you know what's funny is I've sold stuff to Dan and to, um, to John, and um, actually to Samson, too. That's how I met Samson West from, from dealings. But, you know, I, I have a hard time, you know, really jacking it up so high if, if I know the person or someone, I know someone's a collector. But I never take less than what I paid for it. That's, that's, that's my bottom line. Yeah. You know, I never – and, you know, I, never, I, I usually take – charge exactly what I paid for it plus the shipping so I'm not out anything. And um, that – you know, that's usually my rule of thumb. But I like that rule. Yeah. Yeah. I'll admit I do make a little bit of profit because, man, the, the shipping charges, i got to pay for my shipping. So – you know, I try not to be a crook, though. You know, I'm not like these people that charge. I mean, it gets really outrageous, you know. I usually make about, you know, like on a 30-centimeter figure, I'll make about 30 bucks. Yeah. So, you know, within reason. Some people on there, it's... And people will pay those prices. That's what's crazy about it. There's that one seller on there, Ani Ani Net. Yeah. And they'll, they'll jack the prices up. It's like... 300%, 400% markup easily, and I see people pay it. So I guess, you know, as long as people are willing to pay it, those sellers are going to keep charging yep. those prices. I'm dying to see if somebody buys a $4,000 Biolante. <laughs> Someone will. Yeah, eventually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, that was me in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm not going to lie. Some, I bought some crazy... I, I think the, the most I ever paid for something, not including Biolante, was like $400. I'm not sure what it was, but I think there were a couple of them. But that was in the beginning when I was like... Gosh, you know, how much, John? I didn't hear that part. Huh? How much was it? I didn't hear that part. You went fuzzy. Around $400. Okay, $400. Okay. I think it's 4000 Oh, no, no, no. <clears throat> I don't remember which one it was, but in the beginning I was like that. I'm you know, wise to it now, and you guys from the... Uh, X plus Kaiju Collectors Group, you know, you talked me out of it, and, and uh, you told me to wait, and I did, and it turned out to be true. If you wait, you know, you'll be able to get something at a better price. You'll, you'll eventually find what you're looking for if you have the patience and the time to always check all of your, your sources, because, yeah. I, you know, Rich, Rich knows for sure, and John probably too, I was looking for that fucking Baragon quadruped. For yeah. The <laughs> yeah. And, and finally, not only did I get one, but I got one with a light-up horn. Yep. And we all got one. Yeah, and, and uh, you, Rich, you, you gave one to, uh, you, you, you uh, saw one, which you already had, and Samson's, like, forever in your debt for that because... Yeah, we were, we've all known the story, short version. I had already bought mine, standard edition of Yahoo Japan, and I didn't get it yet until after G-Fest. So at G-Fest, we're standing at the Kaiju modeler table, and I'm just looking around, and I see it in the back. And I asked the guy, I was like, what is that? And he's like, Baragon. I'm like, you know, and I tell Sam, and he's like, what am I freaking out about? I'm like, get over here. <laughs> and that was it. That was history. That was awesome. And see, you know, I've always been under the impression, too, that what comes around goes around. If you're fair and 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 honest with people, they'll be the same to you and good things will come your way because you know, when when you try to, to get over on people, people are smart and, and it's karma. And it'll come back to you. You, know? yep. you, know, you just got to be patient and honest and and, and straightforward and, and you'll, you'll eventually get, get whatever you're, you're looking for. Eventually. Yep. Okay. And you, know, you know what I can say about all of us lined up down here or up there depending on how you're looking at me? You know, we've all helped each other get something, you know, in our collections to this day. You yeah. know, so that's the beautiful part about this hobby, and which makes Collected X Plus even better and being in the group we're in. So, yeah, I'm plugging the group, getting a little uh, mush there about it, but I don't care. You know, that's what makes it so much more fun is when 
you know, we all share the same interest and passion for what we do. So cheers yeah, to that. I, I, I love that about it because it's like if, if that that want list is on the, on the site, if somebody sees something that someone's looking for, they'll immediately say, hey, man, check it out. I saw this on whatever. And, um, yeah, it's, it's good stuff, and, and um, it's fun. And there's a lot of work. Let me just say this. There's a lot of worse shit we could be spending our money on. Yeah. <laughs> a lot. Like, anyway. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like drugs and gambling and... You know. Scotch. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get some more scotch. I'll be back. Okay, cool. All right, let's see. What's next on our topics list? Um... Let's talk about getting tails on. Let's oh. talk about tails. So, my very first X Plus figure was the Godzilla 66. And I heated up the tail and the body section. I got the Rick Boy one now. You know, I'm not even going to bring him down. We all know how this works. So, it wrinkled on me. I got like that that wrinkle, and it pissed me off. I'm like, damn it, like, how do I fix that? So I messed around with it, and in time, I realized as I heated it back up, hit it with cold water, threw it in the freezer, and now that tail was really nice and hard. You know, it was rock solid. So then I just heat up the torso section where the tail inserts in. Just plain and simple, heat up Godzilla's asshole. <laughs> you know, you heat it up. Yeah, I'll bring out the 84. So you heat up because this has got a great, you really can't see where it goes in. But anyway, but heat up this section over here. That's right. On, on both sides, all around. Do not heat up the tail. Get the body nice and soft, and then you're going to shove the tail in, and it should be a cakewalk. It should take you nothing but um, two minutes at the most from the time you turn the hair dryer on until you got the tail in place. That's that's a lot. That's exactly what I do after a lot of trial and error. That's the best surefire way to get that fucking tail on. And yep. I actually there, there's something that helps me too. I have these really great chopsticks I bought in Japan that you can stick in there to to like kind of guide it in a little bit. Yep. But but do not heat the tail up. Heat the torso up. Yep. That's the way to go. And and yeah. I, I, my knuckles have been cut up from the, from the ridges on Godzilla trying to get that tail in. And, yeah, there, there's a few expletives coming out of my mouth trying to get that on. <laughs> but, but, yeah, it's definitely what Rich said. That's the best way. It's not always foolproof, but it's, it's the most, you know, the best way that I've discovered so far. Um, Does anybody uh, twist the, the tail when they put it on? Because when I... When I put all my tails on, I try to twist it as long as the uh, the hole isn't overly elliptical or triangular, like in Hedora's case. And I never get those those little dings in the the you know, those those bends in the in the uh, tail when I twist it in. You know, I just get like I, I I put one one half of it in, and then I just press and twist till it all like falls in place. And I haven't been getting those little things that Rich was talking about. Yeah, I haven't had that issue since the first time I did it, and I, and I also twist it on. And I say it's best that you do twist it on, that way you get that inner lip that's on the inside of the body wrapped around the the nipple of the tail, per se, or whatever you want to call it. That way it's, it gets completely around the vinyl, and it gives you a nice, secure fit. That way you shake the figure around, the tail's not going to fall off. Now I twist that thing oh, yeah. back and forth as I'm getting it in yeah. there, and it it's foolproof. Okay. Let me and ask for some of, Go ahead. For some of the more problematic figures where it is a really odd shape to the tail, um, I, I make a mild soap solution. I put a little bit of dish soap and, uh, and mostly hot water, and you just dip the tail in that right before you put it in, and pop. You know, that makes it super easy, uh, and, you know... It's pretty damn hard to damage the paint on these figures. Yeah. Um, I've even dipped the... I mean, the figure, sometimes if it's misshapen, I'll dip it in boiling water. Yep. Uh, You're not going to hurt them. Yeah, it's it's near impossible. What's that solution you, you make? Oh, it's just a, a little bit of... Uh, 
it's just like dish hand soap or dish soap or anything. You just put a little bit of it in some hot water, and uh, you know it's it's just real mild, just to make it slippery. Okay. Do we... some of the oh sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, some of the especially like um, the older Ultraman figures, I guess, and some of the really old like uh, carded Gamera figures. Those things were really a pain in the ass to get together. Um, those ones, I had to really soap them up a lot to get those things to pop in. A lot of the newer ones, uh, the vinyl's real soft, and um, they've really improved the quality of the vinyl, and, and so I haven't really had to do that much anymore. There was one figure, I can't remember which one it was offhand, but the, the opening to get the tail in, the, the flash vinyl was too... I couldn't fit it even in there, so I had to take my X-Acto knife and cut some of the vinyl out to even get that piece to wow. fit in here. Wow. I, 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 I guess get the most fucked up, like, re reject pieces in the whole thing. It's like, <laughs> luckily I, I'm able to do it, but, you know, it was totally, there's no way that would even fit in there. So I had, to, I had to, and I was scared to do it, so I heated it up and I cut it out, and it fit perfectly. The first try, actually, but it was a little bit scary to do that. The single hardest figure for me uh, to get together was the Reborn Kimilar. The It's the Ultra Kaiju with those big rainbow yeah. fins coming oh, off the that. back. To get those rainbow fins on, man, that was a chore. I had really? to get, like... <laughs> I had to get creative with that. My, mine went in like clockwork. It's luck wow. of the draw. Isn't that funny how, how each piece is different? Because, yeah, I mean, Godzilla's tails have been the worst for me. Those fucking tails. They just won't... Some of them won't go, and then and even, even when you get it in, sometimes there's a little gap there, which drives me crazy. Yeah. What you what you do is you just Dave, just heat up the body, you know, really get it really nice and hot. Show the tail in, then hit it with cold water, and still work the tail. Like Dan was saying, twist it, twist it, and it will secure itself, and you'll be golden. I wish I could have shown you my Godzilla 66 because it was fucked up when I first got him. You know, like, <laughs> it was. I'm telling you. Ah, uh, hold on. See, I can't even get it off. I would shake him like this, and it would fall off. That's how uh, fucked up I had. If you could just envision me for a second, the circle of the tail. So it went from over here to the top, and then a V, because it yeah. wrinkled. Because I heated the tail up. So yeah, after, it would stay in there. Yeah. So then, I, that's then I realized. You know what? I'll, I'll I'll fuck with it, and I'll just heat up the body. And I need to fix this. Check this out. Freaking dorsal plates are bent a little bit. Uh, you can fix it. Bullshit. Well, throw it away. <laughs> Not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had so much trouble getting the tail onto my 30 centimeter uh, Godzilla 84 that the the back plate, the back piece that has all the fins on it, actually pulled away from the rest of the body a little bit oh. because oh. that piece goes right to the bottom, right where the tail meets, and I had too much trouble getting it in there. It's 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 like it's a little loose now. It like you know it's pulled away. You can still see it. Which one are you talking about, John? Eighty four. Oh. Huh. huh. Are you talking about like right here? Yeah, I'll go get it. Wow. My uh oh. You know my what? girlfriend. My girlfriend wants to join in. And say hi for a second. Hello. 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 Hello.
That's Keith. Oh, how do I look at this? He loves oh. Mothra. What? Mothra rocks. <laughs> Who's Keith? Ben. The dog is Keith? No, no. Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Spanky, Spanky is the dog. Spanky? Yeah, yes. Spanky too. That's Rich's parents' dog's name. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah, I know, yeah. Bye. So what's the question? Who's what's your favorite Toho Godzilla character? Um, baby Godzilla. Oh, uh, yeah. CDC. Yeah, get Celio. Come on here. back, come on. No, you I like to play Godzilla. Okay. How about, okay. How about least favorite? One. Oh, wait, least favorite. Here, I'll, I'll unplug this. Who's That's your nice. least favorite? Mm, Who do you uh, hate? <laughs> uh, hold on, i got to look around the room. We'll oh, wait here. <laughs> okay, what, what's, your, what's your favorite toe? He hates the Gargantuas. Oh, um, well, I would say... Mimi is one of my favorites, but I like uh, Chibi Goji. He's, he's Chibi Goji, little little Godzilla. Yeah, yeah. You know what? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what I got to say about all this Minya? That's just baloney tits. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he's really goofy. We got our other house in this. That's crazy. Watch. This is my favorite one. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's my favorite too. I love that guy. He's so cute. <laughs> Mothra. He's he's a huge Mothra fan. Oh, Mothra's pretty cool. All right, Mothra. I got so much Mothra crap. <laughs> what was the other question? Oh, my least favorite. Uh, who's that one that you had? Uh, the other one. The other. Uh, you like Frank Snyder? Frankenstein. He he hates Frankenstein and conquers the world too. I like, what? Wait, I, <laughs> I know. Sorry. I forget. No. I honestly do not like the Mechagodzilla. Oh really? Oh. oh. Like I don't know. It's just boring. Boring. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the least favorite of mine is uh, Kumonga. Yeah, that's hey. I don't oh. like it. I have to keep Kumonga. Oh I have to keep this guy in the box because yeah, she hates so much. Yeah, no, no, no. Like no, no. Oh, back up. Back up. Back up. He, he hates that one. Yeah. Oh yeah, me too. I, just, I can't. I can't even. That's <laughs> yeah, pretty creepy. But we have other. Yeah, things. I know. It's just like if that thing was out, I'd wake up in the morning and be like, Oh my God, there's a freaking. <laughs> This thing, this thing is like it's like totally fake looking. Not fake. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even say. Yeah, he tried to scare me with this in the in the cheese drawer in the in the. I, I saw the DVD. I, I saw the video of that. I didn't even see it. I'm like, all right. Oh wait, is, is that the sea louse? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's nasty. That's nasty. Cece says bye. The sea louse is nasty. Fucking whoa. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. Let's go next topic. Seeing that we're all over the place here. Spanky likes Baragon because he looks like Baragon. Baragon's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that's right. That is awesome. We used to have a Shih Tzu. My parents had a Shih Tzu, and I was like a, a, a real life <laughs> King Caesar, kind of like a real life Anguirus from Final Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's talk about weather effects, how weather affects our figures, sagging, drooping, hot weather, cold weather, and uh, we'll get into cleaning our figures and taking care of them. Then, Dave, that's going to run right into your area of expertise. Now, yeah, if you want. John! Yeah. Now you were saying you have your Godzilla stuff on the third floor, so it gets pretty hot up in there in the summer, right? Yes, it does. And I, had no it idea, I had no idea this was going to happen. But I uh, discovered X Plus last December, and it was nice and cold. And I started uh, the collection really took off, you know, January, February. And then it started to get warmer. <laughs> <laughs> that Samson? Yep, Sam's in the house, yo. Salutations, hey, everybody. How is it going? <laughs> What's... <laughs> What's up with the glasses? <laughs> oh, this is my regular attire. This is the way he does. 
while I sip my beer. Face already. <laughs> face already. Oh God, alcohol! Ew. Ugh. I think this character that you're doing represents ninety percent of the people on Toho King. Oh, <laughs> don't talk no bad things about my Bandai creation. I love my Bandai creation. <laughs> You're my favorite, guys. Come on. Why do you guys even go on that? They're mm. just. Uh, uh. I have four posts on that site. Four. I don't go over there. What's up, Samson? How is it going? It's great to meet you. It's it's been it's been. Shake his hand. I was doing it. I did it. We you did it. it. <laughs> oh, mm. same hand. Looks weird. <laughs> but, oh my god, it's great to be here. I'm so happy. What the fuck did I miss? Oh wow. Well, we all had our other hats on here for a while, which is pretty interesting. Okay, banjo, come here. Come here, puppy. Come here. Oh, good dog. Get ready for the comic relief. Hopefully he doesn't electric you. Oh. <laughs> All right, I get the fuck out of here. Um, now, did, you, did you name him Banjo after the Space Ghost episode? You, you didn't see Spanky, did you? Spanky! This is Spanky. I see another one back there. Who's that? That's Trixie. That's our the dog. Oh, that's awesome. We only have one dog. And no, we did not name him after Space Ghost. We're rednecks, so uh, our dog's name is Banjo. <laughs> down, 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 down. Oh, puppy dog. That's Trixie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so besides bringing... That is a big-ass spider. Oh, my God. Hold on. Holy crap. There's a spider on my table. Now it's dead. Okay, anyway. Well, it's big, and it'll probably bite the shit out of me if I touch it. Sam, here, let's get you caught up on some of the things we talked about. Uh, what, is the most re what is the most recent figure you got? The X plus 25 centimeter Rick Boy Baragon standing edition. Nice. Yeah. I don't buy anything else except for that right now because... I mean, I don't have any other lines that I collect. It's just kind of like, boom, X plus, bitches. That's all I need. So that's that's what's up. I'll do that. All right, John, we were talking about the weather effects. You're on the third floor. I'll let you continue on with that. I was just saying that if you're not <laughs> familiar with uh, vinyl figures and you don't know that they get soft when the uh, warm weather comes along, you're in for a little surprise. I've had uh, I have a 56 Rodan 25 centimeter who stood perfect all winter long. As soon as it started to get warm, his wing tips started to curve a little more each day, and, and um, to the point where he fell on his face every time I tried to pick him up again. Even my Gamera 96, I thought was rock solid. I thought, I mean, you put that on the table, it stood, it, you know. A hurricane could come by, and it didn't seem like it would knock over or anything. Even that one, his ankles get so soft that he starts to... He, he never fell, but he's still a So, you know, some figures you're going to have to prop up when it gets warm. Yeah, that's certain, certain figures uh, like Gauss and the Rodan figures, those ones you can try to reshape them, but, I mean, it's it just seems like some of them, there's no, there's no way to fix them. Now, ones like uh, Gamera 96, you can at least pop the tail off and fill it full of fishing weights, or you can put some water putty. You can fill the feet with water putty if you want to permanently modify the figure. Um, there are ways to fix the ones that are hollow, but the but the ones like particularly the winged ones that have little bitty legs, there's no way to really modify those. So you just it's kind yeah. of luck of the draw. One uh, with the one. Good. I was going to say, one fix that I heard of, I don't know whether it actually works or not, is that you can fill the figure full of sand. That's kind of crazy to me, but they say you fill a figure full of sand, and you heat it up how you want to, and freeze it the way you want to. The sand will, like, just keep it how you want it to be, and it will not go back to, like, the crappy original stance that it had. Yeah, I'm, I'm having one, trouble with one, 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 it's, it's just, but actually both Rodan's. It just over time the, the wings just sort of buckle and it doesn't does a header and I I have tried the heating up the cooling down the ice the water 
it, it, it'll stay like that for a couple of weeks, and then it'll just go back to, to getting top heavy. And I have it like sort of balanced against another figure, so it doesn't fall over. But it's really not cool. David, well, I I actually bought your um, thirty centimeter Rodan from you. Oh, you have a big one. Yeah, I was able to actually get that one to stand on its own, but I had to boil the feet in water three three separate times. I boiled the feet in water, and then after that, I put it in the freezer. And eventually, I was able to get it to stand up straight, and now it's it's perfectly fine. But like, I have both of the Gauss figures, uh, the Rick Boy and the Standard, and I, neither one of those could I get to stand on their own. You know, even boiling them three times and sticking them in the freezer. There's just it's kind of luck of the draw with these things. That's what I always say. Yeah, I was I was a little bit too cocky when I first got mine. I'm like, oh, mine's great, no problem, it's standing perfectly. And then right about, about three, four months later, all of a sudden it's leaning like this. I'm like, son of a. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have mine. I have mine set up with a uh, Coke bottle caps. I don't know how well I could. Yeah, if you could. Oh, see I see it right, right there. Behind door source's foot. Yeah, because that's the only way I get them to stay up. And and Guris, if you can see, he's also supporting Rodan. And even my uh, Rodan 56, I got Varan supporting him, even and with the Coke bottle caps. So it's worked. It's been like that since um, April, and I haven't had an issue. It just kind of sucks that you know that that we have to do is you know find some kind of fix. Yes, yeah, it sucks. And you know, funny, Rich, my my Varan's tail is holding up my fifty six too. Yeah, that's that's what's holding mine up. I have no idea. It's all fine. Cocky. I bet X Plus is trying to test us to see how dedicated we are. <laughs> it's yeah. like we're tired of making these toys. Let's make crappy ones so they'll stop buying them. So we stop having to make them. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, Sam, are you happy with your, your Edura fix? You have no idea, dude. It looks magnificent. I, see, I forgot which spike broke off. So did I. I was like, that's good. That's a good thing, though. And when you asked me, do you, could you tell which one it was? And I had to think about it. And then I was like, was it this one? No. Oh, my God. I mean, that right there tells you that you did an amazing job. It's, cool. it's I'm, I'm, so, I'm so glad I was able to fix that for you. Yeah, I was happy that you could do it for me, too. Of course, I mean, no duh, I was happy you could do it for me. I'm so glad that you were able to do that, man. I mean, you're always my go-to guy when it comes to fixer-uppers and customizations and stuff like that. I mean, no problem. That was, that was just like about this much putty. It was like just a tiny amount. Yeah. And, you know, I have so many, so many paint colors. I could pretty much match any color scheme that you throw at me. Which I wanted to ask you, David, uh, which which type of paints? Because uh, you said it was uh, Liquitex paints. Yeah. Is, is it a specific type of Liquitex? Because I ordered no, the basics. Dan, it's basically any acrylic paint. It's a water-based acrylic paint that you can use. Which, do you which, do you use something? Do you use a mixer to dull the paint down at all? Um, not not usually. I just usually mix the colors directly together. Um, with like white, black, or gray. I don't use like a medium like a gesso or anything to water it down because that, that changes the consistency of the paint and it makes it too glossy for your fingers. So, yeah, because uh, uh, X Plus, their paint is super dull and some of the bad. model kits, yeah, some of the model kits I've used in the, in the pa past that I've built, the paint, like, the paint came out too shiny. Um, I haven't used the Liquitex yet. I just ordered it. So hopefully those will come out dull the way that yeah. the X Plus and there's different, and there's so many different variants of the of the paint. Just make sure you don't buy anything that says gloss on it. You don't want to buy. Yeah. Okay. But Ooh. I got it. I got it. <laughs> God damn it, Sam! <laughs> you just got here. Retired already? Oh man. Oh, oh I got a question. He's been up since eight in the morning. <laughs> Boo hoo! Go ahead, Chris. What was your question? Well, since uh, we're all worrying about, you know, having different issues with their figures sagging or whatever, wonder what kind of issues we're going to run into if they make some kind of King Ghidorah figure a destroyer, you know, because well, they're going to be big. So. Somebody well, the thing with them is they have, they have rather large tails, which is able to counteract the weight of whatever the figure may, like, come into. Like with Rodan, he doesn't have an awesome tail to keep him balanced. That's why he sags forward. But That's with true. other figures... The counterbalance, I think, with the King Ghidorah that might come out, you have the double tail, the big wings, which 
might go kind of backwards. They could go to the side, but they'll probably go back, and that counterbalanced with the three heads, I think that it will balance out pretty well, and we won't have that many issues. The necks might sag over time. That's one issue I do predict. The, necks the wings, might... man. The wings. The wings. Awesome. Uh, yeah, you're right. I mean, the wings are held together, I mean, at a very small point in the middle of his back, so... Yeah, to me, right. though, the 25-centimeter Mothra is how they should model the uh, the King Ghidorah, because the 25-centimeter Mothra, the wings are not made out of this typical vinyl material. It's some kind of hard plastic, and if they can build some kind of an endoskeleton into the feet uh, that then goes up and supports the wings, a Ghidorah, it could be a perfect figure, um, and then kind of like how Biollante has little wires running through the uh, uh, arms. No way. Do that. Do yeah. that with the head. It does. It does. With does the it heads for the uh, That's Jim Jenkins. His apparently it fell off of a shelf and it and it was like freezing cold and it shattered and he said there were little wires in there. Oh, um, can you imagine? So, I would. I would be. I would be so pissed off if my Violante that I paid that much money for fell off and shattered. Imagine that shit. Yeah. Like, I would be heartbroken. I would, I mean, I don't think <laughs> I can even fix that. I don't think I can even fix that. That's... No way. That's no. why it's important to have, especially for Biolante, Biolante, you have a base underneath it that supports also, here, you know, that also supports the legs here and here. That way, you know, it's fully supported. God forbid that's fell off. God. <laughs> Holy kids. Grace, what the hell was that head in the side of your room? Oh. <laughs> you have a head in the side of your room. It's a... I call him Doug on a stick. It's just a head on a stick. <laughs> that's his previous mailman who tried to leave him a pink slip. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> about me. I come to him. You ain't gonna give me a freaking pink slip of death anymore. Man, you ain't gonna give me no pink slip of death. I'll show you a pink slip of death. Hey. Stick up the head. Oh. Just know this, it was the last pink of slip he ever gave out. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, Dan, man, your your mailman sucks the worst. He's going to give you yeah. a pink slip. you got to tell Samson that. Yeah. No, I don't even get a pink slip. I just have, If I don't check my tracking, I don't even know that the figure was supposed to have arrived. And I, I, just, I ship a lot of things by SAL shipping, and uh -huh. the... The window for that can be anywhere from a week and a half to a month, so I have to really stay on top of my tracking. Have you complained to the post office about the mailman not doing his job? I would, but it's like three different mailmen that I have, wow. so uh, I don't know. I just I just stay on top of the tracking, and I'm, I'm regularly at the post office with just a piece of paper with the tracking number on it. Uh, and, you know, so far I haven't had a package get lost. Once that happens, I'm gonna get pissed off. But yeah, so Man, far I so good. Pink, I got the pink slip of death one time, and I would not accept that pink slip of death. I took that damn thing. I went to the post office. I slammed. <laughs> well, actually, I gently placed it onto the counter and asked the mail lady politely, "Would you happen to have a package that is uh, at this address?" "Oh yes, sir." But I, I imagine myself slamming that pink slip. <laughs> my package. I would like my package this instant, foul woman. And, and she gave me my box, and I was like, thank you, good day, and I left. Was, were, were, were any of you guys worried about the government shutdown affecting the customs office? I That went through my mind. I'm like, oh, oh my god, all our shit's oh. getting stuck in customs for a month. Or whenever this bullshit gets resolved. Well, um, ever since the shutdown, um, I I still been buying. I get a lot of my items from uh, Japan, and uh, there's this one guy I buy from. It always goes through customs, but so far it hasn't stayed longer than a day since I I, I had this government shutdown. So I think it's okay right now. I think customs is an essential position that they're not cutting so far. <sighs> My last package from Hobby Search, five days in customs. Wow. That's bullshit. Yeah, I mean, you know, whatever, as long as I get it. How do you know it was sat in customs for five days? That's what the tracking said. The tracking inbound to customs, and then five days later said outbound from customs. Oh, so you just calculated how many days it sat there. Yeah. So, like, my Mecha Godzilla, I think, sat in customs in JFK for, I think, two days. Which Mecha Godzilla? You're talking about your 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 crappy base one? Yeah. Let me see that. <laughs> let me see that thing. Come on, bring him out. I want to see it. Well, here's the base. Oh wait, let me turn it around because it's the freaking packaging. 
Oh my god. Jim, Jim, uh, Jim noticed this when he uh he talked about his because he got his first. You can see the freaking holes that the pin the uh, uh -huh. now, maybe yes. I mean now, I not... need to watch Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla again because maybe that was like a little cubby hole or something the aliens worked their way through or something in the movie. Maybe it's maybe it's really detailed. That's the Mecha Godzilla looks pretty damn cool. Hey, but you know what? At least you can bang this around and it's not really going to hurt anything. You know, so. That is an absolute outrage. I demand that they make a highly articulated... Hey, thing. hey, listen, you Tahoe Kingdom whiny little bitch. Shut up. <laughs> I'm talking about X Plus here. Okay. All right, now... <laughs> <laughs> that that secret base, man. It looks like they took a, a turd and dissected yeah. it and splayed it out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's so glossy. It looks like you just pulled it out of the bowl. It's it looks like it something like... that would come out of my ass after I've eaten a lot of Mexican food. Mm. Probably, Sam. Probably. <laughs> so I will say though, Sam, you were asking, Mecha Godzilla by himself looks pretty badass. Yeah. Right? You could go get a rock and make that look better than the secret base. Oh, yeah, dude. It's like, but, oh, my God. I mean, I'll buy it. I don't want to, but I have to. I'll, I'll pay for it because I already ordered it. But, um, um, okay, what, what else have we missed out that I, or have I missed out on that we've talked about? What other topics have we, we like? We talked about the newest X Plus stuff, newly released, newly announced, newly received. Um, okay. Sam, I, here, what do you do with your boxes? You keep them or you chuck them? Keep them. Why? I have a, I have a giant. I have like a stack, like the two towers uh -oh. over the range. Who's rich? What happened? <laughs> what? Oh, sorry, Sam. Why do you keep your boxes? <laughs> why? Uh, awkward moment number one. <laughs> uh, why do I keep my boxes? Yeah, why? Well, tell us why. The people want to know. Because I can't throw them away, man. It's like, it's like I don't plan on selling my stuff, but it's like if I ever did and I didn't. Oh shit! People would buy it even if I didn't have the boxes. But it's like it would be more valuable with the boxes. So I, I mean, I keep them for that, and I keep them for the fact that like I'm too OCD to throw them away, or lazy, I should say. But, um. With 30 centimeter boxes, for sure, you got to keep those. There's no way you'd ever throw those out because they. Yeah, they're pretty cool. I mean, they have the artistic like amazement on the front. But with 25 centimeter boxes, Rich, you did make a good point that uh, all boxes are exactly the freaking same. They just have that one little stick <coughs> sticker on the bottom that makes it a little bit different. Which I didn't know that the label that tells you what the figure is, it's just yeah. a sticker. I had no idea. Check it out. So if you guys didn't know, the label here, it's actually a sticker. We talked about this last uh, episode, but this is actually a sticker that X Plus slaps on the box. So it's not printed on, which I, who just left? Oh, Dave, no. David! <laughs> okay. I'll okay. be back, okay. So this is actually a sticker. You can hear me. So it's not printed on. Well, the so, other... Go ahead, Sam. The only other difference would be the instructions that comes with each, each, each figure. Because, I mean, they're all different. That's just how it is. I've never actually even looked at the instructions. Oh, I never do either because it's like, all right, I'm not five years old. I know how to heat up the asshole and stick the tail <laughs> in. It's not that hard. Which I'll, I'll show you. This is my 30-centimeter My thirty centimeter boxes. Bam. <laughs> See, that's that's smart. That's pretty smart. I'm that gonna make good, dude. I'm, I'm gonna make a badass mural out of all this shit one day. Uh -huh. I mean, what did you do? You basically took the very front piece of the cardboard and tore it off, or I just cut it. I just used a very sharp exacto knife. Ooh, you got the gold on. Oh yeah, man. I got all, I got the whole giant series, which I actually I kind of suspect that they're discontinuing the giant series. What? But, Oh, that's so sad. I, I just kind of have a funny it. feeling. You know, actually, this brings me to a point. The uh, the the Tsuburaya, anything that's anything that's Ultraman related, it seems like it's all going Rick Boy exclusive. The Giant series started going Rick Boy exclusive, and then you had uh, Barabbas, Tyrant, um, and now even the the the, the new A type Ultraman. 
Yeah, is that only Rick Boy? It's strictly Rick Boy. Oh, see, I gotta get that now because I, I, I have to add that to the collection. I don't have the C, but I need to get the A. Do you guys have anybody have the C? No. Oh. <laughs> I got I got a I got a bunch of Ultraman, but I mean that new A type I I want it, but man I mean if I was if it's it pisses me off because if I ordered that thing through Hobby Search it would be like seventy five hundred yen, and then the SAL shipping would be like fifteen hundred two thousand yen, uh, but you know I gotta buy the the Rick Boy version which is like thirteen thousand yen and then ship it through Tenso like. I may have to just stop collecting Ultraman stuff because it's all strictly Rick Boy now, it, which sucks. It's all strictly Rick Boy exclusive. They're just. I hope that they turn that around. I don't know what the deal is with that. I think I think the B was the last one that wasn't strictly. There's Rick Boy, Ultraman right? B type, and then Ultraman Gaia is coming up uh, this end of this month, and then we'll see after that if they start releasing. Uh, I mean, it's the kaiju. The kaiju have been strictly Rick Boy exclusive for months now. Over the whole summer, the kaiju were strictly Rick Boy exclusive. Uh, I really hope they stop doing that because it's just it starts to get too expensive. And I mean, I'm I'm running out of stuff to sell. I'm running out of guitars to sell and comic books to sell. And you know, I mean, I can only. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, dude, I hear you. I can only stand on the tree street corners downtown for so long before I'm like, this. I need, to go I need to find a real job. But I have to ask some of you guys. I mean, we all love the Rick Boys because we all love the little extras it comes with. But how do you, like, feel on the Rick Boy? Like, David, I know that you don't really buy them typically unless it's like I have to have this other thing that makes it more amazing. Like, with the 1971 25 centimeter Godzilla, sure the egg holding hands is cool, but my thought I like having him with his like normal hands. I want him with the damaged eye and the normal hands, so he looks like he's gonna fight Hedora, but with battle damage because it's awesome. I agree with you, Sam, because I have that's one of the few that I actually did did buy the Rip Boy because I, I, I wanted to have the normal eye and the regular hands. Mm. So yes, I, that's one of the there, there's there's exceptions to it. If it's a little tiny crappy figure, some of them are crappy, some of them are good. Like the sea louse is pretty awesome, I gotta say. Ooh, I love that thing, and, dude. I mean, and, who else can say I have a sea louse figure? I mean, you, you you guys with your reviews cracked me up with those sea louse and Rich putting in the refrigerator for his wife to see. That was like, you know, that was the icing on the cake right there. I yeah. tried to do that to my I tried to do that to my best friend's girlfriend one night when we were drinking at his house. She didn't even notice. She just went in the... I said, hey, Sam's girlfriend, go get me a beer, please. And she did. And then she didn't even see the damn thing. And I was like... <laughs> <And> I said, <laughs> it's like, when do we get a break? Rich, me and you both are that. We can't do yeah, it. Yeah, well, if you guys didn't I'm hear still going to try to do it on my mom. Don't tell her. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to put mine in the cheese... In, the, in one of the drawers in the fridge... So later that night, my wife gets home and she goes and opens the fucking drawer that it's in, but she opens it hard so it shifts forward out of fucking line of sight. <laughs> Never saw it. Got <laughs> a chilled fucking sea louse in the fridge and no scare. Hey, that's a cool. Cr that's okay. I can't make a joke right now. I'm not. Sorry. Epic fail, man. Epic, Epic fail. fail. <laughs> All right, but um, but what? But like. David, is it like a price thing for you, or is it just like a, like, well, you don't always feel like you necessarily have to, see, I'm a completist in a way, and I'm also like, if it has an extra thing, I have to have it. Like with King's you know, with the up ears and the little statue, I had to have it. It's, you know, more, more often than not, Samson, it, what happens is I regret not getting it after I see you guys have it and the awesomeness of it, so I think I've kind of learned my lesson a little bit. Um, from now on, but like I would love to have a little King Caesar statue that goes with that. And um, I mean, there's just certain things that don't float my boat, but there's about half of them do, half of them don't, you know. And like, I mean, I, 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 I love, I love that you 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 just hold out to get the Rick Boy one. And the funny thing is, with that damn Baragon that I've been looking for for so long, I finally ended up getting a, a Rick Boy one, which is pretty ironic, you know. Like, 
I know you're you're better than me. I don't even have that one. I just have the regular one. But I, I mean, I don't even care. Yeah, dude. I didn't have the regular one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh, no, no, but I, I actually, to, to be honest, I, I regret not getting the the Rick Boy many on many occasions. Um, Why? It's, it's just a matter of convenience because you know hobby search takes takes paypal and the way i buy a lot of my figures is i have a cache of of funds that i have for things that i've sold that i buy new stuff with yeah and, and if i buy it from mike johnson he doesn't take paypal yeah i know he used to but he had a major issue and i used to do yeah. PayPal with him but so it's it, and, you know i don't want to go through tenso like a lot of you guys do which is really expensive and really complicated, and there could be some issues. So, you know, all things considered, if I really, really, really want a Rick Boy, I'll ask Mike, or, or I'll just pass on it. But, but I, I do regret it sometimes when I see how, how cool the ones that you guys have are. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually... Okay, here's another topic I want to bring up if it hasn't been brought up already. Um, with some of the Rick Boys, yes, I also feel like it is not necessary to have it. Some people call me the kaiju racist because I solely collect Godzilla stuff. Like I, I just do Godzilla. It's not that I don't like a lot of hobbies. It's just that I was it was never present to me. You're a like, racist. I know I'm a terrible person. I, I need to go But it's like I never watched Gamera growing up, and I I don't care to because the original Gamera uh, that's cheesy. I don't need to see a paper mache turtle fight another paper mache knife faced dude. Um. And Don't bash on Gamera. Hey man, I can. Gamera, bitch, it's bad guy. Hey man, it's I can say whatever I want to. It's my opinion. Don't thwart that. Gamera vs. Bad Guy is the greatest movie. And with Ultraman, it was not, it just wasn't available to me growing up, so I never watched it. But anyway, what I'm getting at with the 25 centimeter Gorosaurus 67 that came out, it was amazing. I had to have it. It's another yeah. addition to the Destroy All Monsters line. Rick Boy exclusive, didn't care for it. I don't need the little submarine from King Kong Escapes. Exactly, exactly. That's my point. There's certain things that are just lame and you just don't really need. Exactly. That's, a per that's a perfect example. But I do like some of the light-up effects. Like the light-up Gigon is pretty badass. I have, uh, yeah, I have that. I mean, now, now I honestly... This is the other uh, thing, the discussion I was getting at. How do you guys feel about the overusage, if that's even a real form, anyway, the overusage <laughs> of the light-up feature <coughs> on monsters now? It is month, like, three that they've come out with light-up feature figures. The most recent one, or one of the most recent ones, is the Rick Boy version of the Mecha Godzilla with base. That thing lights up. The new Space Godzilla, he's going to light up. And now we've just learned that the 30-centimeter Godzilla 2000 his Rick Boy version is that his, he's going to light up. His fins will light up. I feel like they're kind of overusing. And the one, okay, even further back, the one that came out before the Mecha Godzilla with base was Baragon, the standing Baragon. His horn lights up. And right now they also got a just announced Hedra light up eyes. With the light up eyes. Yeah, see, there we go. That's like six or se I can't do math right now. That's six or seven figures that have come out now with you the light up feature in a row and it's I feel like they're kinda overdoing that feature in my they opinion. Finally, they finally came out a way with a way that they're happy to to make them light up now though. Because before we didn't have these uh these dongle things, you know, like the uh the, the twenty five centimeter baragon, that's real clunky the way you know, yeah, yeah, the, the 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 now this way it seems like they're really happy with it, so they're 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 flying with it now. They are, but one thing I saw somebody made a very, very good point. How in God's name are they going to make a purple finned Godzilla two thousand they can do it have light up orange uh, I, that was me that me and one other person brought that up. Yeah. Listen, when you you can mix colors. You can mix paint together, two different color paints together to make another color. You can do it with crayons. You can also do it with light. The LED light, a blue, a, you know, a a blue flashlight and a red flashlight and mix them together, and you'll get another color. They're going to take, hopefully, I mean, they could take the purple fins and figure out what what color light will create like an orange. It's well, that's definitely possible because look at the light up Ultraman. They have a blue 
light on their, or it's a blue light on their chest, oh, and you can turn the switch, and the switch, and all of a sudden it turns red. Well, I think that I think there's just a blue LED in there and a red LED in there. But I mean, with uh, Godzilla 1999, they're going to have to figure out. I mean, like if the fins have to light up orange, the the lights probably aren't going to be totally orange. They're going to be a slightly different color that, when you mix it with purple, will give you orange. Well, um, one thing that I can say, I mean, this is a little bit easier because it's a light color, but with the Rick Boy 25 centimeter Godzilla 62. I accidentally broke mine, so I broke the light-up feature on it. I had to replace replace every single LED light, and when I opened up the back fins, because the back the back plates that go down its back is a separate piece, I opened it up very, very carefully. The glue seal is pitiful, so I just used my thumb, and I was able to rip it open. The vinyl that they use for the light-up feature on the 25-centimeter Godzilla 62, the vinyl is blue. It's translucent blue, and they painted it, you know, the, like, kind of uh, very, very light-colored, tannish, grayish color that his fins were. And that's why the Godzilla figure, when you turn him on, his fins appear blue. Okay. So that may be what they kind of might do with the new Godzilla 2000. You know, the vinyl will be a translucent orange, and they'll use, like, a very dim-colored purple to color the actual fins. And maybe, hopefully, if they use a bright enough LED light, it'll look orange. Well, as as far as doing it over, overkill with the with the light up feature, I think what I'm going to do is just the ones that I really love. The the, the years that I really love, I'm going to get the ones with the light up fins. The other yeah. ones I'm going to pass on it, you know, because you just can't get everything, you know. And and everybody has their mind to draw. Like for me, I'm going to pass on all the gamma stuff too because it's just not super cool to me. Um, there's there's a cool thing few things I like about it, but I'm going to pass on that. And I'm also going to pass on all the other Ultra stuff except for the original 39, which is the ones that I loved when I was little that I used to run home from kindergarten to watch. So I'm not going to do Ultra Q. I'm not going to do Ultra 7. I'm not going to do Ultraman Jack. I'm not going to do Ultraman whatever the fuck, you know. Because, <laughs> because seriously, who has the space or the money to buy all that? I mean, yeah. seriously, right? I, I I'm totally I'm totally guilty of that, man. I've gotten into collecting. I even bought an Ultraman Taro monster, Tyrant. Yeah, but they're cool, you know. You know, it, it, I, I've been tempted because they are so awesome and so outlandish and so colorful and cool. But for me, when, I'm like I'm like Salmonway. Once I get one, I gotta get them all. Yeah. You know. So I'm not gonna get any in that series. So I won't be tempted to get the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one. And and I like I do have all of and even even the thirty nine, they're pissing me off because they're doing the, the reborn. So now not only do I have to buy them initially, they're they're doing it again and again and again. So to be I, honest though, some of the reborn ones, I'm like, why did they bother to re rebirth it? Because certain ones like Antler and the Red King two, they're not as good as the original. They're not as good as the releases. I don't think Telestons is good either. I have the reborn. To, uh, tell us, Don. I think it's pretty good. Uh, is it better? Is it better? I haven't seen to, it. To me, to me, it's better. But there are certain ones that are better. There are certain ones that are not as good. There are certain ones I don't know why they bother because it's not as good as the original. Antler, in particular, I, they didn't even try to make the thing stand up. This the second Antler. So I ended up buying the original one as well. It was a hell of a lot cheaper, and it actually stands up. So well, my my original doesn't stand up anyway. So just just so you know. What um, do you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I mean, I have no idea what we're talking about. So yeah, uh, obviously, jackass. <laughs> <laughs> I know that we're talking about ultra what the fuck or something, but um. Yeah, that was me. Ultra what the fuck. Ultra, ultra man, whoever the fuck. <laughs> ultra man, whoever the fuck. He's my favorite. <laughs> but, but David, I want to bring up a very important like point here. I want to thank you for all the like, well, I don't know if it's been years, all the year of commissions that you've done for me. One of my favorite of all time, the very kind thing that you did for me was the Manda. You um, actually sold me yours that you made for yourself. I mean, I love that thing. It's astonishing. You did a fantastic job. Me and you, booyah, found it. Bam. We're the only two that have an X-Plus Manda 68. 
I mean, how cool is that? And we may be the only two for quite some time because who knows when they're going to do one, if they will, you know? Because, I mean, they have yet to – I mean, they didn't do a 30-centimeter one yet. And they're nope. probably going to do a 25-centimeter man to 63 before they do 68, which that would be <gasps> – but uh, look at us. Boom, ahead of the game. Oh, my God. You, yeah. yeah, it was it was awesome. And, you know, you're you're passionate about this stuff, and I know you really dig it, so it, it's it's a pleasure to, to give it to somebody or sell it to somebody who likes it as much as I do. So. Oh, man, it it, like, you did a fantastic job. I don't care what anybody else says. You're not destroying the Ultraman figure. You're saving – Making it better. Yeah. That's oh, what my you're... God. Kyle. Kyle Young is so yeah. ass about that. He, he yells at me every time. He calls me out. He's like, oh, yeah, you're destroying yet another Ultra Q dragon. I'm like, yeah, so what? And what? Yeah, so what? What do you want to do about it? It's my favorite thing. Get out of here, cat. It's my favorite figure, man. I love it. It's like, you know, I'm from New Jersey originally, so you know what? Hey. Whatever. My, da my dad's from New Jersey, man. I'm, we're, I'm half Guido. <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 what? Man, I'm half Guido, don't you know? I, I, like I like the way you're throwing that term around up in here. Hey, man, what are you going to do about it? Come down here and do something about it, you know? All I got to do is make one phone call and you're done. Oh, yeah, all I got to do is go to my cousin's house and they'll blow your freaking head off with a shotgun wait, or whatever. I thought you, wait, shut up, smart ass. I learned yeah. something real quick. You never say the G word in front of an ESO. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you about I'll tell you a little off topic about the Guido word. I'm at work one day, and uh, this is, you know, I work at the airport, and this guy, he's like helping me out do something. He's like, hey, you fucking, you fucking guinea. He called me a guinea. What's oh, a guinea? ouch. A guinea, it, it's just another slang term for an Italian, I, I, you know. And, yeah, it's um, like the N word, except not really. Yeah, yeah, like a dirty Italian, you know, grease ball, that type deal. And um, I was pissed off. I was like, you know what? I don't know who this guy is. And I was like, you know, I don't appreciate you calling me that. He's like, why? I'm like, what do you mean, why? And then, I, <laughs> short story, he was Italian. Here. So he thought it was okay. I was like, oh, well, you know what? It all makes it all the better. So we're hugging and kissing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, we'll do the hugging and the kissing. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we went, what? oh, my God, I'm covered in cat hair. Oh, cat hair. Baloney tits. Baloney tits and... <laughs> all right, let's, um, let's shift gears a little bit. Let's talk about the teaser trailer that we got leaked for Godzilla 2014. Woo! Opinions. The I'll go last. Let's talk about that. Uh, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think you're ready for my opinion. Okay, what? well then you go first. No, no, yeah, exactly. David, David, take the floor. Come on. Tell us right. your honest I mean, I mean, you, want, you want me to start with the positives or the negatives? Negatives. Okay, that's going to be a lot longer. That's good. <laughs> that's good. I like to hear it. I want to hear it. No, I got I to gotta start with the positives to get okay. that up. Okay. I, I like the fact that he's doing it, taking the movie at least seems like it's going to be a dark, serious movie, not for kids and this and that. <laughs> it, it, it looks like serious subject matter, and they're, they're really trying to get back to the, the, the Godzilla as a monster and not a hero, blah, blah, blah. He's a tragic being. Like yeah, I, yeah. Um, the negatives are, I hate the design of the new creature. I don't like it. You know, so many people disagree with me. I, I don't like the feet. I don't like the face. I don't like the fins. Um, it's just, it's to me, it's not Godzilla. It looks too much like that that Geno thing from, from 98. And they, I wish they would try to stop making it look like a real animal. And make yeah, it I agree with you on that. Well, which, I mean, which, is, which is what we all love. And, and, you know, everybody says, well, what about... Godzilla 2000 and GMK, I like those because they worked. They were very different. They were very drastic departures from the original design, yet they worked and they stayed true to the character. And I don't know. I'm very, very skeptical. I mean, I, I, I really uh, – I'm, I'm not really looking forward to it. I, I think it's not going to be good. I'm, I'm, I'm hating that I have to say that, and I really wish I'm proven wrong, but – 
you know, aside from the 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 fact that it's it's going to be a dark, serious movie, I'm 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 not optimistic about it. I don't know. Not everybody has to be. Everybody's. I mean, you're entitled to your opinion, which I grant you that. I'm not going to down you for it like any other kid in the TKU would. So, um, or the t what? Wait, who do we hate? Toho Kingdom. Oh, Kingdom, yeah, I was thinking TKU. Well, they're whiny bitches, too. Don't, don't think about it, Sam, just don't think. I'm trying to think. It's hard. I mean, this is causing much thought blockage. Um, what, what do the rest of you guys think? Do you, are, you, are you thinking? Look, Chris, look, yeah. Or? Chris, what is your thoughts on the new Godzilla design based off the teaser? Well, if, if that is exactly what we're going to get, if that's just not some, you know, EU type thing and they got Kind of set up creature design coming, you know. I myself, I don't really have no problem with it, but I think they should have took a little bit of almost like every year, just like an evolve from the beginning to to 2004, and kind of made one big kind of mold out of that. You know, I granted, I know they're trying to you know reboot the whole series, but have a little bit of each one of him in there. Okay, Dan, what do you think? Um, I guess I'm pretty open-minded about it. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm happy with the new design. It's, it's different from anything we've seen before, really. Um, the movie, like, as soon as they cast Brian Cranston in it, he is an amazing actor. He's so Woo, convincing. Tuckular. Yeah, I mean, as soon as they cast him in it, that's, to me, a lot of what makes these movies good is if you have a really good actor in it to sell the movie. That's, to me, that's what killed Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim, like, the lead the lead characters, just, I just, I'm not really going to go into that because a lot of people like Pacific Rim, you no, know, so. Hey, come no, on, I, man. Tell us how you feel. You're entitled to your opinion here. We are not uh, going to rag on you that hard. Okay, yeah, the, the, the Jaeger pilots, just delete them from the movie, and I probably would have liked the movie. If the robots had been AI, I would have liked the movie a lot more. I liked the scientist characters. Charlie Day was great. I liked the, um, <laughs> Samson, you're crazy. Um, I liked, uh, I, they should have gone way further into uh, Ron Perlman's character, Hannibal. Yep. Um, <laughs> Where's my I mean, God, shoe? What killed it for me is, is you're watching the action scenes, and every two seconds they cut back to the Jaeger pilots. And the Jaeger pilots, they're supposed to be hooked up with this neural link, but every two seconds they're like, rocket punch. Jaeger pilots to me, they may as well have been cardboard cutouts. Um, to me, this is my opinion. So a lot of what killed it for me was the human aspect of that movie. As far as the the actual action scenes themselves, if they hadn't been cutting back to the Jaeger pilots every two seconds, they're pretty badass. Um, it's just uh, you know, with this new Godzilla movie, you've got Brian Cranston as 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 the lead. That, to me, that sold me on the movie just right there. And the fact that Godzilla breathes fire in this one, as opposed to 98 Godzilla, no fire. Um, those two things alone, and I'm pretty open-minded about the design for Godzilla. I think it works. He's way bigger than he's ever been before, and so they had to make him much stubbier, much, you know, spikier and grittier looking, and, and he's just, he's, we, I mean, we don't even know if it's the final version, but honestly, I'm happy with it. Well, you know, bigger is better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John, what's your opinion? Um, well, I kind of like it, most of it. I expect it to uh, look a little more realistic, but I also expect it to still look like Godzilla, and I think they did that for the most part. Um, to If I were to nitpick, I really don't like how the uh, snout, just like this flat on the front, that reminds me of Gino. Yeah, and uh, I saw on the one maquette, like the neck was really fat, and his whole body was bloated, and you really couldn't see that in the Godzilla encounter footage or in the trailer. You couldn't tell if that bloatedness was still in there. And, How about those uh, cankles? Huh? Those cankles. <laughs> those fucking cankles. The feet. The, the feet. 
Yes. Yeah, the bagels. I'm saving the worst for last. It's terrible. <laughs> they all have got to go. They could have done something else. They, they should have done something it's else. Like a, it's like looking at a deformity or something. Looking at uh, like I, elephant feet. Like that. It's 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 a disaster, and you cannot sell me on it. The more the more you guys are talking, the more I hate it. And you know what? I, you know Brian Cranston's awesome, but it's not Brian Cranston. It's Godzilla. You know the the star yeah. is Godzilla, and if Godzilla looks like shit, I don't care how good the acting is, it's gonna suck. Right. That's why the title of the film was Godzilla, not, you know, Cranston. <laughs> you know, you know uh, that guy Cranston. from ba Breaking Bad. It's all about the design. You know, if the design works, I can I can tolerate a lot of other things. Yeah. But that design is not right. Do you guys want an X-plus figure of that of that maquette? Seriously? I, I don't How want to buy that. How many would spend $200 to buy that? Hell no. Oh, hell no! <laughs> Hell no. Hell to the no. Hell no, I ain't gonna buy that damn motherfucking figure. If that thing looks like that, it's like, fuck, I ain't gonna buy that goddamn thing. That's bullshit. I ain't gonna buy that. <laughs> yes, now, I agree. If it is an exact replica, if they make an X-plus figure in the maquette, no. no. But, I mean, oh, wait, it's not my turn yet. I'm supposed to wait until the end. Everybody else keep talking. It's gonna get turned now. I jumped Go, oh, Sam, you're in it. I'm out. I'm in what? It's your turn. Talk. Why? Because we said so. But I don't want to. <laughs> Fine, then shut up. I'm shy. Shy my <laughs> ass. All right, fine. Ryu, what's your opinion on the new Godzilla? Well, we got to first realize this is the teaser trailer from two years ago. Yep. Gareth Edward himself said that was not the final product. The picture that we saw in Brazil, we don't know for sure if that's also the final product. I think so. I'm really excited. Yeah, come in here, Zach. What the? <laughs> Kids are back. It's a fact. If it looks like a duck, it's a duck. If it walks like a duck, it's a duck. Well, I'm, I'm, gonna, it's the same. This is what we're gonna get. I don't know. So I'm gonna wait for the second trailer. I want to wait for. They're not gonna change. They're not gonna change it. <laughs> Done. It's a done deal. Well, according to an interview I saw with Gavin Edwards, he said they have made changes since that uh, teaser trailer. I don't know exactly what the changes are. Oh, look, are. you're a dork. Oh, dork. They wouldn't spend that much money to make that all that teaser trailer. It looks the same. It's going to look just like that, and that's that's the bottom line. And if I'm wrong, I'll be the first to admit it, and I hope I am. I do, too. <laughs> that teaser trailer was made before the movie was being shooting, so we don't even know for sure. With the uh, teaser trailer, there wasn't really much to go off of except for the head. Yeah. You just saw the head and the spine. And uh, Ah, yeah, you saw the fiberglass spikes. Mm-hmm. So. It, it made me so angry when everybody was so hyped about it. I'm like, am I the only one that thinks this is stupid? I don't, it's, it's just, it looks like Gino again. You are the 1%. <laughs> you know what? It'll save me a shitload of money. I won't have to buy anything from it. Booyah! <laughs> there you go. When I first saw Ford Star, this is the only shit no I have. Ah, only yeah. one I have. I know. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, so here's my opinion. Let me get my opinion in. Okay, do it. David, I respect your opinion. Absolutely. Yes, I can see where you're coming from. Because you know what? Anybody, any Godzilla fan that was around for 1998 and able to understand how much of a fucking we got with 1998, it left a very sour taste in our mouths for an American Godzilla film. So, I am very skeptical about how this new one's going to turn out. I am not leaving anything on the table, for my opinion, until I see the movie. But based off of what we've seen, I'm okay, I'm... I'm I'm not going to say I'm happy with the design, but I'm okay with it. I expected something to be a little, something more original, something more not like the Japanese Godzilla, but something very reminiscent of it. Um, I expected something more modern for today's day and age. I expected something more realistic, you know, because we all knew they were doing CGI. They were not going to do a man in suit. You know, and that just takes a whole load out of the 
the character as it is, as soon as you make it out of the man in the suit, because that's what we grew up in. You know, that's what we love about Godzilla. It's the, we know it's a man in suit. You don't need to tell me that it's a man in suit to tell me I'm, I'm going to enjoy the movie. Like, I know it's a guy. That's a given. That's like saying WWE is real. Get out of here. It is. But anyway, so what, what my opinion on the design, I'm okay with it. Um, I, I forget who was saying it. If the design works with the film, with the story, that will make it more acceptable, I, I believe, you know, as far as how the movie goes. So it depends on how they use them. Um, the roar, it starts off okay, and then it, it does a slow bellow, almost – you know, they were trying to recapture the 54 roar a little bit, I guess. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. You know, I mean, like I said, I'm not going to throw my final opinion out until we see the movie. Uh, Ryu, Ryu, like you said, that, that teaser was from two and a half, or a year and a half ago. Um, San Diego this year got a new trailer. How much has changed? Maybe not that much. Who knows? You know, so we all saw the Godzilla encounter experience. That, that footage was leaked. You know, so, I mean, he kind of looked pretty cool in a couple shots, and then some shots he looked very Gino-like. Don't need that. So, I, I, if, if Gareth fucks this up, we will never, ever see an American Godzilla film again, because Toho, if they, they, they're smarter this time, and much wiser, because that's why they keep everything Godzilla-related in their pockets. They won't let it get fucked up. So if Akira Takarada said he liked it, I, I, I hope that's a good thing. The that's movie, what I got. I think the movie has to do well. Toho it has to do well. It has to. For the future of us Godzilla fans, if the movie does well, Toho then will continue part of the franchise. If it does bad... We may never see another Godzilla movie again. You well, know, this you bring up a good point. I'm curious as to how many years Legendary has the rights to Godzilla for. Good question. Curious. Good question. Because Sony had it for eight years. Because they were going to do a trilogy. And <coughs> well, and this this is kind of a brings me back to talking about Final Wars. Final Wars, if it had not been the Final Wars, Final Godzilla movie, people wouldn't hate on it nearly as much. I mean, if it was its own just kind of, it's almost like a pop culture reference filled, almost a parody of Godzilla. And if it had just been one of the Godzilla movies, I think people would accept it more. I enjoy it from that aspect, but as a right. final Godzilla movie, it's absolutely terrible as a final terrible. Godzilla movie. We got um, this jackass in a fucking truck with a seatbelt on trying to drive. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the steering wheel. Get the fuck out of my here. My greatest hope, my greatest hope is that the if this Godzilla Legendary movie is successful, oh, Toho dumb, will start dumb. making movies, Japanese Godzilla movies yeah. again. Yeah, you I, know. I, I, I hope so too. I hope so too, man. I, I want it to succeed. It's not like I want it to fail. I I'm just basing my opinion on what I've seen mm -hmm. so far, and. Like I said, I love the overtones of the film. Yeah, I love the seriousness and the and the 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 the, the you know ominous nature of the film, the way it's direct going. But I do not love the design. And having said that, I love monsters. Did you guys like Gareth Edwards' movie? Oh Monster? my god, that oh, movie was incredible. Yep. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I thought I thought it was really good, and it was back to the old. You know, Hollywood film noir. What you see is scary than what you do. What you don't see is scary than what you do see. And it 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 built a lot of character up, which I which what Dan, I think you're talking about. There's going to be some good character development, which I liked in Monsters, which he's very good at. But if you, if you can meld that in with a good creature design, I think the movie's going to be a fucking amazing thing. But if Godzilla looks like shit, every time he comes on the screen, I'm going to be like cringing. That's, that's my biggest fear. But I want it to succeed, and I want it to be proven wrong. I really do. Exactly. I completely agree. TriStar left the most disgustingest taste in American fans' mouth when they tried to do it. <laughs> yeah, you're right, dude. How do you bounce back from that? <laughs> Damn, turn. what the hell was that? Oh, just the, that was the disgusting taste in my mouth. It's still oh, okay. 
It still hasn't gone away. I just wanted to verify. All hey, right. what does what does everybody think? What color flame he should have in this movie? Oh, should he go back to traditional, or should he come up with some kind of wild exotic color? I this hope it's be, traditional. This be pink. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Sam. I, I Which, hope it's back to blue. <clears throat> Uh, sorry, sorry to change the subject, but y'all talking about TriStar Godzilla. I mean, the 98 Godzilla, It's to me, it has nothing to do with the design of Godzilla or even the fact that he doesn't breathe fire that makes it a bad movie. What makes it a bad movie for me is the casting is horrible, oh, and God. the direction the direction of the actors is horrible. Oh, and, God. And oh. that's what really kills it for me. If they'd had a better cast and, and, a, and better direction... It would have been a decent movie. I mean, and not called like, it Godzilla. And not called it Godzilla. Yeah. That's yeah. not even that's not even what hurts it for me. I mean, call it Godzilla. I don't even care about that. It would be an enjoyable movie if, like, you have there's the one character in it and he's like a lieutenant or a colonel, and he's like a da 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 a da 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 every two seconds. The general's like do this, and he's like a da da da. I'm scared. A da da. It's stuff like that. Little it was things very having to do. Yeah, had little things having to do with the direction of the actors. And I don't even know if it's the casting. I think it's just strictly the director. The way that he directed the actors yep. killed the movie for me. Because, I mean, what guy, what guy in the army that's like a – that's like the guy was like a major or lieutenant. I don't know if you remember. He was the blonde-haired guy. We need – And he's – bigger. Oh, I'm, so, I'm so stupid. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I'm so stupid. It was Man. just it... – you, you, you take the two – I don't even consider Maria – Patilla, whatever the hell her name is, you never heard of her since, obviously. Oh, oh. But you take the two of them, the one of the worst acting scenes in, that I've just fucking ever was when he went to go buy the pregnancy test, and uh, it's uh. like, oh yeah, uh, and she's like, you want to go get a cup of tea, and and he should have been like, um, yeah, what the fuck are we doing in this movie? Because that's what it felt <laughs> like they were wasting their fucking time. That's like, exactly they didn't right. even believe in the roles they were doing. They could have been like, off the fucking film. Matthew Brown got it. the script the day before. He he did it. He, he just yeah. got it the day before. It's like, oh, okay, all right, I'm going to read this script. No, day of. Day of. I mean, just... <laughs> Where'd Rich go? <sighs> just terrible. Oh. Okay, so, I mean, I mean that's, talk about that's just my opinion, though. That's just my opinion. It's to me, it's the director that really killed the movie. I want to hear Sam. I want to hear Samson's opinion on uh, the new trailer. Okay, finish the beer. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, hang on, let me gather myself for a second. Here. All right, with me. Um, I'm skeptic and I'm positive because you know me, I'm happy-go-lucky, sunny disposition Samson West. So I never have a bad attitude about anything, but at the same time, I'm a human being, so I have opinions. Well, uh, yeah, I am not extremely ecstatic about the design myself. I, It's kind of Godzilla. Yes, it is. It's Godzilla standing upright instead of like a freaking... Not upright, and so, uh, so uh, I mean, the only thing that looks like Godzilla is the fact that he's bulky, he's tall instead of lengthy, and that I mean, I don't know. Yeah, his bear, his bear face is kind of meh. His spines on his back that look like shards of fiberglass are meh, and his brontosaurus cankle feet are. Ugh. Unacceptable. So, Unacceptable. Uh, so, yeah, that bothers me a little. It does bother me. But at the same time, I'm with Rich because I'm optimistic in every manner that if they're able to pull off the monster well and not make him overdo things that he shouldn't be able to do, since this is a CGI monster, that is one fear that I've always had with this film is the fact that with what makes Godzilla Godzilla is that he's a guy in a suit. He has human limitations. He has limitations that uh, any animal would, which is a human being, a guy in a suit. He has limitations. But with CGI... Yeah, you got it, Dave. That's right. So, I mean, they can make him... They can make him do like a... I don't know, like a backflip, drop kick, tail <laughs> swat in the air or something. And it's like... I don't know. The CGI aspect did bother me at first. But at the same time, I'm really trying to hope that it will be a good... 
movie. And, um, if he runs from the military, I will get up and leave. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I do want the movie to be good. I do oh, yeah. We're not uh, sorry. I was supposed to be talking about the trailer. The trailer was cool. I thought the trailer was good. I mean, I like the whole aspect of the doom to humans or whatever the hell it was. I don't know who Oppenheimer is. I just know that it's some dude that had a speech. And I, for the roar, I'm pouring beer. Give me a second. For the roar, I thought the roar was actually pretty damn good. I give that a thumbs up because I thought, I mean, it's different. I'm okay with the roar. Uh, yeah, see, I think the roar is pretty cool. It is different, but at the same time, it still has the aspect of Godzilla in the sense that it's this big, like, terrifying shriek, but with a bellowing ending. It, it's still, it's it's Godzilla in a sense. It's kind of scary, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought that it was actually a little bit fearful when I heard it. It's like, oh my god, this is the first time I've been scared of this since Godzilla's Revenge. So, Cool. No, that's good. You know, no, I, do, I do think that the movie, I want it to be good. I really do. It's like I would hate for the franchise to go way down the crapper just because America fucked it up again. So the trailer you know, gave me high hopes. I've seen it like 15 times because I keep, I mean, it's just, that's my opinion. So. No, that's good. No, I, I, I kind of agree with everybody except for the design, you know, and I really do want it to be good. And the trailer, the trailer's actually... Aside from the design of the creature, the trailer is awesome. You know? yeah. well, Rich is showing us right now. What the hell is that? Centipede. It's like a big centipede creature. I hope it's the Mega Neuron from Rodan. I hope it's a shout out. Oh, that would be oh. fucking awesome. A giant Mega Neuron. Hell yeah. You it know, could be I, anything. That's just what I hope it is. When I, when I was little, when I saw Rodan and that picture that was mechanic, that scared the shit out of me when I was little. That's a creepy ass thing. You know? Hang on, I want to hear this. Okay, as horrible quality as that is, we still got the <laughs> we grasp the aspect of the fact that that is a horrifying roar. It's like we've got Godzilla horrifying again. I would have accepted it if it sounded just like freaking Godzilla from the 60s, but at the same time, that has a different aspect to it that I think is neat. And one thing I'm, I'm going to be positive about again is the fact that I actually like the fact that they gave Godzilla gills because it's like, wait, why can he breathe underwater? Oh, okay. They never explained that, but, I mean, whatever. It's, it doesn't bother me. The, gil the gills don't bother me. That's cool. I, I yeah. just hope they use he's the character in the essence of everything that we've come to love about this genre. Yeah, he doesn't need to be Godzilla vs. Megalon Godzilla. That was campy and we loved it. I mean, we all loved the superhero, kick-ass, kooky, dog face Godzilla, but we need him to be... I mean, he's going to be terrifying. He's going to be a misunderstood creature, <laughs> like he's supposed to be. I mean, that's the point of this movie. It's going to be... What did Gareth Edwards say? He's gonna. He basically made this movie like, what would happen if Godzilla actually attacked? Basically, it's like, what would Godzilla be like, and what would the people of planet Earth? How would they react? So, in, this, in this day and age, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So, is, I mean, I guess it's going to be a mo wait. Is, it's supposed to take place in present day, right? It I is. Know. It's a contemporary movie, so. All right. Nice. Let's let's make sure we do this talk again after we've all seen it. So yeah, maybe exactly. See who's you know. I, I I hope I'm the one that's proven completely wrong, and it's an awesome movie that that re-energizes the franchise in Japan. Yeah. So whatever. Well, and David, I gotta say the the Magura shirt is awesome. I'm sorry, totally off subject, but yeah, I love that. That's awesome. Anybody, any, anybody who wants the info, just PM me and I'll, I'll hook you up with the where I got it from. I, I will, I will, for sure. <laughs> I have a cool shirt too. You just can't see it. Let's see. Stand up. Oh, hang on, uh, hang on. Boom, bitches. Ooh. Oh hell yeah! All right. Okay. okay. That's my favorite movie out of the Godzilla series. It just is. Don't ask why, because I don't even know. But because uh, it's fun. Because it's a fun movie. That's why. God, Gigan is my favorite enemy of Godzilla's, and I love the 68 to 72 suit. 
particularly 72. 72 just has a more menacing look than any of the other uh, Godzilla 68 uh, suit designs. They make him more menacing looking, even though he's, like, falling apart. <laughs> but, uh, so that's, that's, a good, that's, that's a good question. What's everybody's favorite year? Ooh. Ah. Oh, GMK. I, I, I just love GMK, everything hey, about the movie. Two. You get two. What are your two favorite suits? Okay, GMK and the 64. Hmm. From from Godzilla vs. Mothra. Okay, that's cool. 64 and Millennium. Those are my two favorites. Chris, what do you got? I like GMK and uh, 2000. Cool. Nice, nice. All right, Dan, are you one to... Ryan, what do you got? Uh, I'm going to go with 95 and 2000. Wow. All right, Sam, you're next. Uh, no, no, you're next. I already said mine. Uh, 72. <laughs> and what else? Oh, what else? Hang on, i got a cat. Man, it's time for you to go. Uh, <laughs> we got 72 and... <laughs> Get out of here! We have 72 and 2000. Again, I mean, it's weird, but that seems to be the second we're, favorite for okay. all of us. We're all digging on that one. We all love that one. I mean, 2000, it's just, I mean, I grew up, that was just a childhood memory of mine that I can never let go of. I saw that when it came out in theaters, and and just the 2000 suit is just iconic to me. It's It, it made Godzilla... It's almost the more badass version of the '62 suit. That's just what it, it is. Exactly. It's it's a it's a modernization of the '62 suit, which they need to do with this one. But that's another point. So. All right, my two favorite first, definitely the Mosogoji Godzilla six Godzilla '64 from Mothra vs Godzilla, and I hate that we gotta pick seconds because I don't really want to pick a second, but um. I'd probably go with Godzilla 2000. Oh, that's wow. wait, is that is that wait how it's many? A, it must you know what I mean? It, it it if it wasn't a Godzilla 2000, it would have been Godzilla 62 because Godzilla 2000 is the modernization of the 62 suit. I agree. I agree completely. I agree completely. Completely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, we all agree that 2000 for some reason is our second favorite suit. Wait, did we all agree that? I do. Oh, I yes. think majority of us almost did. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But okay, I'm not gonna ask everybody why because I don't even know why. I just, I just like it. I just like it. Well, somebody just hit it on the head. I, Godzilla is more effective to me when he's not a hero, when he's a villain, you know. And you know, '64, he doesn't get more evil than that. Nope. And he's pretty. He's pretty, he's pretty evil in, in the Millennium too. He's more, although he is more of a force of nature. But um, you know, although the movies where he's a hero, they're fun as hell, and I love them, and they're nostalgic. But I think it works best when he's a monster. You know? God. How can you argue a face like that? I <laughs> well, love it. It's, I, could, you know, it's just I could, cool. but I'm not going to. Shut up, Sam, and agree with me. I love it. There you go. <laughs> Wait, isn't the new oh. Diamond release going to be the re-release of the 64? That's going to be oh. one of them? Open yeah. mouth. All right, I have to get that. I, I know America is releasing it, and I, I have to buy all Japanese figures, but I can't afford to buy the 64 figure from Japan, so I'm going to have to get the American one, whatever that is. Because, I mean, with me, you know, okay, I'm going to go off topic again. I, th I think that's what we're all doing. I'm going to go off topic. Hey, I'm going to go off topic. Hey, are you going to go off topic? Hey, me too. So... Uh, I'm going to go off topic here and talk about what I specifically collect and why. I collect the 25-centimeter figures. One, because they're cheaper. Duh. And two, because they actually fit in pretty damn good scale with anything else, like marmot-wise. Like, you can, you can fit the 25-centimeter figures with marmot figures because they're in the same scale, nine inches. Oh, look at the dog. <laughs> what? Sorry, I couldn't help it. I saw the 
a so spanky. I wish I was spanky. Oh, spanky. And oh, your wife. Never mind. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. Say I was going to be perverted, but there's you're in the room. You're going to be... Hi, Sam. Hey, how's it going? Good. Has hey. your hair always been straight? I thought it was curly. I do it both ways. <laughs> I do it both ways, too, if you know what I mean. You mean you do it both ways. <laughs> All right. But <laughs> what a bitch. Y'all are crazy. Man, yeah. I, I'm out of my it's damn It's because we're guidos. Man, it's because you fucking guidos, man. You guys yeah, man, we, we beat up the beat, man. Yeah. yeah. Beat up the beat. Yeah, you beat up the beat. Oh, fuck. I don't have this stuff. Hey, babe, I need another drink. I'm making a dessert. Mm, Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, but uh, wait, what were we talking Oh, yeah, why I collect 25s. Yeah, because they're cheaper, they fit in scale of 9-inch figures. But I will admit, I do love the 30s also. I basically, though, I'll only buy the Godzillas in the 30-centimeter scale, and only the ones that I really like. The upcoming 2000, I have to have it. I don't need the Rick Boy because I don't really care that much about the light-up feature. I have enough of those. But I have to have the 2000. I had to have the G84 with the with the uh, Shockurus Giant Sea Louse, whatever the fuck that is. I regret not getting that. Ah. Oh, the Shockurus, dude. I mean, how many of us can say that we have that? Me. Can you guys go watch my review. My first review where I went crazy sniffing the vinyl, I didn't have the Rick Boy. And then, because Sam was talking about it, I was like, fuck. Like, you know what? I should have got the Rick Boy, and then I hunted the Rick Boy down. I made you do everything. I made you buy X Plus. I made you buy the Shockurus. Wait, wait. Sam, do you have the Rodan with the X Plus? The Rodan 56 with the, with the, uh, with the, the um, Rick Boy version? The 56? Yes. No, because when I like going thirty minutes into the past, uh, like I said, I'm the kaiju racist, so I only kind of do just Godzilla stuff. I don't have yes, I love Toho everything, but it's like Godzilla is my main collecting. So if it's not from the actual Godzilla series, I don't buy it. Yes, Rodan was in the Godzilla series, but the fifty six version right, wasn't right, right. But I, I know that it came with that mm -hmm. awesome mega neuron. Yeah, I want that. I want that mega neuron. It's I have the mega neuron. You have it because no, I have a like, little miniature bottle cap mega neuron that I got years ago at a comic book shop. So let me go get it, and I'll show you like how big it is. Yeah, let me drink this. Hey, let's, um, Sam, you go get what you gotta get. Let's uh, a couple people are talking about Bandai creation on the comments section on the on the stream. So let let's do a real quick here. So maybe people want to hear our opinions, but I'm going to go with mine real quick. Bandai Creation. First off, they're not from Japan. I like all my Godzilla figures from Japan because that's where Godzilla comes from, Japan. So, second, I'm sorry. They do not hold up to the same quality as Bandai figures at all. They don't. I mean, I, I don't find any enjoyment by going to Toys R Us to get a Bandai Godzilla figure. I find more enjoyment in hunting the motherfucker down and getting it like that. Because that's how I did it from the start. Before there was Godzilla figures in toy stores, except Treadmasters, which is, might as well be Bandai Creation today anyways. So I will say for those guys that are collecting Bandai Creation, consider yourselves lucky. Because... When we started out in the mid-90s, or early 90s, or even later, or I mean earlier, there was no eBay. There was no Amazon. There was no Nothing. online buying. There was only Club Daikaiju, Showcase Collectibles, um, Claw Mark Toys has been in business for a while, or you had to go to the conventions or know a hookup in Japan or somebody that knew a hookup from Japan as a dealer in the United States. Complicated, yes. I will say younger collectors have it a little bit easier than we did back in the early 90s. But for Bandai Creation, not cutting it. I can afford the big boy toys, like all of us here on this video stream right here, so why am I going to pay $16 for a figure of Godzilla 2000 that don't even look right? I'm sorry. Get out of here with it. Go. Fuck you! <laughs> That's Ooh. what I got to say about Bandai Creation. Ouch. So that was a good size model to get. Mm -hmm. You're a jerk. 
I don't care. I know. I love you anyway. This and video is not politically and correct. I creation King Caesar looks like shit. <laughs> I know. Fuck that. We got the best looking goddamn King Caesar in the universe. Now, I, 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 let me. I'll finish off. I'm gonna finish off. Don't do, do that on camera, dude. That's nasty. Shut up. <laughs> I do understand for the younger collectors, it is affordable. It's more accommodating for it's younger collectors to get. It is, and I could. I started off with Treadmaster figures, just <laughs> like these younger. Shut up. Just like these younger collectors are starting off with Bandai Creation. It's the same. It's basically the same cycle. Once you guys can start affording the bigger and better stuff. Then you'll know what's up. But I get it. Yes. You start, right. you buy what you can afford, you buy what you like. Here. Bandai, Bandai Creations, for me, they're good if your niece or nephew come over and they don't, they want to be touching your shit, you give yeah. them that. And you say, here, play with these. I agree, I agree, I agree. Uh, here, other than that, I'll throw these against a wall. Other than that, I've got no use for them. Yep. I do like the the rainbow Mothra. I, did, I didn't like the movie. Yeah, but that's a nice looking figure. I, I hate the movie. Love the figure. That one but, was well, that was a couple people have asked me, and I said the rainbow Mothra is the best one out of all of them. As it far looks as that, it looks terrific, and I paid ten bucks for it. So yeah, it looks just like the Bandai Japan one. <laughs> Yeah, I second Dan. Other than the Rainbow Mothra, I could do without any of the rest of them. You know, they're just cheap imitations. Yeah, same here. When I was at Comic Con, went to a booth. I actually got any uh, X Plus. The guy said no, and he said I got this. I said don't even show me that, and I just walked away. It's like get oh, that shit the fuck out of here. I don't want to see that bull crap. <laughs> But I agree with Rich. Like, you know, the younger generation, you know, that's what you can afford. You know, you have to start somewhere. Once you could save money, buy the better stuff, you're going to see the huge difference in quality. And the kids can play with it. It's their, their toys to play with. Ours are figures to put on the shelf. To rub. I mean, uh, Although, I do play with mine. Hey, did you guys see my Mothra that I put the spider web around? Yeah, yes, that I was, did. That, that was yeah. amazing. You said was that, that like a neighbor kid or something like that? Yeah, the, the neighbors are putting up the cobwebs outside, so I grabbed a handful and I said, I want to do this for the longest time. <laughs> that and, is uh, badass. You, uh, what was my comment? I said something that was like, oh, nerdiness at its finest or best or nerdiness, the correct... I, I said something. That's me. That's me. I'm, I'm big and big nerd. Yeah. You do a good job with your pictures, man. You do a good job with making your stuff look cool and then taking pictures of it and making it, like, artsy and awesome. And you have, like... You have a great scenery, like your garden and your backyard and your... Wherever the hell you take pictures of your stuff, it's cool. <laughs> Arigato gozaimasu. Uh, God bless you. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, I guess it's my turn. Yeah, Bandai Creations, I have like three of them. Uh, fuck that. I got an email. Mecha Godzilla is my. Oh, I don't care about that. All right, but back to the point why I went away and now I came back. I have this itty bitty little Mega Neuron from Rodan that Dude. I got. Cute. It's like a bottle. It's like, I don't know, two inches. See, look, it's like almost, I don't know, it's two inches. And it was originally, it was like glued to a bottle cap, but I was uh, able to use an X-Acto knife to cut it off and without damaging the figure itself, like cutting off any of its feet. So it still has a little bit of the bottle cap crap on the bottom, uh, the bottom of its feet, but I can get that off eventually. It's pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah, I do like it. I have two of these little bottle cap toppers. I have this little guy, and I have a little Mogira 1957. Is that is that right? Yeah, that's okay. right on. That's right on. Uh, Mogira. That's exactly it, right. He's actually a little bit smaller than this, but still. All right, and I'm going to make David blush and or feel grateful. I brought out every goddamn figure that he's ever like customized and or done for me. Oh, stop! On this table, stop. right now. Actually, the way that I was introduced to David was years back. This was one of my Holy Grail figures that I had to get. David was selling it on eBay, and I bought it. 
It is the CCP Godzilla with Mothra larva on the tail. I bought that from David, and he said, are you on Facebook? I said, hell yeah. He said, let's be friends. I said, hell yeah. And that's how it's been. So that was like the first figure you that I that was how I was introduced to you, man. Is through that. Is that a repainted version? No, no, no. This is the original paint. There are like I don't know how many different paint jobs this thing had. It had this, which is the movie accurate version. See, author Larvae. Yeah, I never could track that one down. I ended up just buying the. Uh, it's like a shiny black one. Yeah, yeah there's a few. Matt, matte, matte finish. It's pretty cool. I like it. I mean, uh, it's it's suit accurate, which I'm all about. That's why I buy these goddamn X Plus toys. I mean, <laughs> what the hell or not? Um, yes, this thing is movie accurate, which I love about it. There are many different paint styles of this thing. There's like glow in the dark. There's uh -huh. rainbow. There's bring my pepperoni. Inverted. I don't even know. It's like I can't even think about it. But besides all that, David has customized many figures for me. He's a man to go to when it comes to customizations. As we mentioned earlier, the most amazing Manda 68 of all time. Look at that face. That's Manda 68, and you know it. It is. And he didn't look like that when I got him, that's for sure. Oh, hell no. It looks like Manda 67. There's date or uh, there's Rich's amazing customization. No, 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 oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's no. right. I fixed Guy Gun. David, I, all right, yeah, because short story, one night, like two weeks after I got my 25-centimeter Guy Gun, I was uh, um, drinking oh. some adult beverages of choice. And I went to go close the window where he was at. And I bumped into Guy again on the table, knocked him to the floor, and scratched his fucking horn. Uh... And it pissed me off so much. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy another one. I'm like, fuck it. But, um, but me. Dave, I, asked, I asked Dave, hey, what kind of paints? Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, hey, send it out to me. We make better and better he made it. And No, I told you to send it to David because I was like, David does good. Listen to what I say, God damn it. And then you did it. He's a Godzilla guy. Yeah, I'm a good person. Cool. <laughs> Only for you guys. Not for everybody. Found right. it. Da do Boom. I like your ducky pajama pants, Rich. What's up, man? That's what's up. Well, for ducky, where are you? <laughs> you? You know, one of the things I regret selling is to Dan. I regret selling my Godzilla 30 centimeter 2003. Oh, you're, not, you're not getting it back, man. I know. Yeah. You got to wait for hey, the Diamond re-release. That's the one I'm waiting for from Diamond. I was Did I see the one on Yahoo Japan for 335,000 yen? I wasn't. I don't know what I was thinking. You know? Wait, wait, wait. wait. That's <laughs> the... Uh, hmm? That's the... Get it back again. No purchase necessary. Hey, what, is, what is that? Hey, where did John go? Oh, yeah, where is John? Uh -oh. He's been gone for about a half hour. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've been talking way too long, obviously. Um, yeah, I need, to, I need to shut up, too. <laughs> yeah, it ain't no shut up about it, man. That's the point of this call. It's, <clears throat> good Lord, Rich. You Let's me. backtrack all the way back to talking about King Ghidorah. Yeah. I know favorite. exactly how they can pull it off. As soon an as I get another beer. Or okay, an, an endoskeleton with the wings from the mm. same material as Mothra. And the endoskeleton goes down through the feet to support the wings. Bam! It's going to be expensive as hell, but shit, we're gonna we're gonna make room for that. You yes, know? we are. You know what? I already have a King oh, of Fun set up. So as soon as it comes out, I got that money ready to go. Yep. You know, it's going to be at least three hundred dollars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much was Biolante when that came out? Wasn't it like three four hundred bucks? Don't have them. The official price, I have like a pamphlet uh, for it. The official price was, I think, 450,000 yen. Um, it was but, $550 when it first came out. <laughs> Damn. Well, back then, the yen was stronger against the dollar. Yeah, it's true. Uh, that's what Mike Johnson uh, uh, quoted me a while back was $550. <laughs> so. You're a star. You're a superstar. <laughs> hey, where'd my beer glass? Hang on, I lost my beer glass, you guys. I'm, hang on. See, I'm switching up. How did you lose a beer glass? 
What's everybody want? A 25 centimeter or 30 centimeter King Ghidorah? 25. I mean, unfortunately, Chris, I, Chris 30 centimeter would be so fucking big that it would be something <laughs> like a thousand bucks, man, right? Wouldn't that be too big? Yeah. Be Do it to 25. You got, I mean, I know you guys, there are a lot of you out there that love the 30s, and that's all you ever collect. But you have to be reasonable in the fact that, like, why do you think they did Biolante in the 25 centimeter? He was Paul big enough as he was in that scale. Why do you think that they have never done any of the large scale figures? Nobody's going to be able to afford them. No, exactly. Why do you think they? I mean, well, Kumonga, not everybody. Do you think Kumonga could ever be in the 30 centimeter? Well, actually, that's not true. The 25 centimeter Kumonga was only a hundred and something bucks when it came out. Yeah, it wasn't expensive. Yeah, no, but if but they made like, a 30 centimeter of that, it would be like three feet wide. But you, you know got to think mean? about there's not that much vinyl in it. Yeah, it's big. It has a big um, footprint, but the legs don't really consist of that much vinyl. That's true. That's true. Yeah, but Chris, Chris, getting back to your comment, a 30 centimeter King Eater would be fucking awesome. Oh hell yeah! It would be flood, but nobody would have the money for it. It's like for the room. Where would you put it? You'd have to like take everything off your shelf, man. <laughs> I'd have to extend. I mean, that's why there's only two 30 centimeter figures. Oh god, beer all over me. Uh, there's only two 30 centimeter figures in my entire collection, and one of them isn't really a 30 centimeter figure because he's smaller than he should be. I got Hedora in the 30 centimeter, With and then the I have. Eye. He is pretty damn big though, so that's. You awesome. got the eye, right? The fucked up eye. Yeah, I got the fucked up eye and the tiny, uh, the tiny flying Hedora that it comes with. Very cool. I, uh, back when I got a little bit of money from my grandfather, I bought, I bought that off Amazon yeah. for four hundred and fifty. Oh, uh, Chris, Chris has them. Yeah. Rich, don't you have the Rick boy or no? No. You bitch. All right. <laughs> So, yeah, I have that, and then I have the 30-centimeter Godzilla 84. Those are the only two I have in my collection. Godzilla 2000 is going to be the next one because I cannot deny getting that. It's going to be awesome. We all know it will, and because I'm getting a ton of money through my job now since it's finally picking up, um, I make commercials for a living, by the way, so... Uh, I don't always get I don't always get jobs to make commercials. Sometimes people are like, "Oh, it's winter time. We don't want commercials." But it's picking up, so I'm gonna have the money by the beginning. This figure is gonna be coming out at the end of November, beginning of September, right? December, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, sure. At early December. That's when you should expect. If you pre-order it, you should have it in the first week and a half of December. I still right. hope. That I'm, I, I just or hope. I hope that I'm good with Mike Johnson because, well, Rich, you know that well, the situation. I told you to talk what's, to him. What's the situation? I know, I, I know Mike. I, oh, I, it's, 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 I've actually uh, been I've, in Mike's house in California. I've had a really bad uh, problem the past. All right, my boss went on vacation for a week, so I wasn't making money for a week. That totally screwed up me and my boss's schedule. I have not been making the money that I needed. I was sent Kumonga and King Caesar, and they have not been paid for yet. No, King Caesar was paid for. The new uh, Baragon was not paid for. I have a good rep with Mike where he'll send me the figures no matter what because I always pay for them. But lately, I have not been making the money I need to, so I have not, not been able to pay him the money that I've needed to as fast as I usually do. So... I don't know if I'm getting a bad rep with him now because I'm very, very late on a little bit of money that I need to pay him. I told you, just talk to him. I mean, yeah. I have, I have the money coming. Just, so. just, just talk to him. He's a pretty, he's a pretty reasonable guy. Um, oh, I, he is. He understands. I've had some crap going on with me lately, but I'm not going to get into that. I've been doing good. My boss owes me two hundred and something bucks. That's going to cover everything I need to pay for. So I'm good. His his collection is phenomenal. I, I've been to his house in California when I used to live in California. His house? Oh, awesome. I, his house is like every he's yeah every inch like everything is 
He has everything. There's there's nothing that there's nothing he doesn't there. have. I mean, that's that's phenomenal. What does he do for a living? Is what I want to know. For him to be able to buy everything like that, it's it's his his he has the most complete collection that I've ever seen. The only downside to that he has no space. He has no space, and he can't display it. Uh, it's all so compact. All cluttered. You can't see each individual piece because it's got so much. Well, I mean, you all saw the pictures of my collection, right? I've got the exact same problem. It's, it's, I'm not doing the figures justice. Yeah, I, I used to be that way. But now I've watered it down so much, Dan, that you can actually see. I'll, 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 I'm going to do a, a review of my a better video of my collection. I did a really shitty one a couple of Couple months ago, you did a really good one a couple months ago too. You did the one that was kind of dark, and then you did the better one that was more. Yeah, light. but I want to do a more a more professional one like you guys do, so you can actually see the stuff. But but anyway, my whole point is like, look at Chris's. Chris Chris's has them, so you can see each figure there. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. And it, it, oh. it just, switch them out. You know, sometimes Dan, like put some yep. away, and switch them out. Yeah, that's what I've considered doing. And if you really don't dig it, sell it. The, I don't think there's a single one that I would sell, though, man. I mean, I um, have. I just, what? I. See, that's how I felt about this guy at first because of the fucking base, but it's not Mecha Godzilla's fault. <laughs> it's the fucking Cheers, base's David. fault, man. Boom. Cheers. This is a bad. I like this figure. I actually like Rich, that. Where Coke. the hell is your beer? <laughs> oh, I'm not drinking Jack Daniels right now and Coke. I switched it up. Do a little Cabernet Sauvignon. Nice. Oh, hell yeah. Wine. I don't know what that is, but it's alcoholic, hey. so hell yeah. <laughs> David, do you like – Do you you don't put your red wine in the fridge, do you? No, hell no. Yeah, all right. I'm just making sure. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Are you kidding me? Some people do that, you know. What? I didn't, I didn't catch I'll, I'll be honest. Like, I, I, like, I knew you were going to say no. You Room know. temperature. Exactly. <laughs> Room what are we talking about? I've totally lost – Wine, <laughs> Samson. Wine. What you do <laughs> right now, you're whining. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm not whining, I'm budding. I have a suggestion. I'm only kidding, Sam. <laughs> king of bears, man. There's the king of bears. I'll give you the king, king of bears. Beer. That's true. Put up your ass. Man, that's straight up America in a can right there. Fuck yeah. <laughs> what does anybody think uh, the Rick Boy version of a King Ghidorah should be? Uh, it depends on which one they release. Planet X ship. A Planet X ship. Well, that would be the 65. If they did the 65, yes. Yeah, you're right. But for 64... I was thinking about that, but it's got to have a little bit... I, the meteorite would be cool. That's what I was... Oh, fuck. Okay, you, uh, I'm going to shut up. You guys already said what I was going to say. Yeah, hey, say the time machine. For 68, it's like, what the hell could the it... Ship? I guess for 68, it would have to be the Key Fire Lock. Dragon. No, it could be the Key Fire Lock. Dragon. It could be the what? The, key, the Queen of the Key Locks. Oh, yeah. That, that would be cool. We talked okay. about that last time, human characters. I mean, they already do that. They do little human characters with some of them, as long as they're kind of alienistic, like with the Rick Boy version of the Mechagodzilla 1974. That was the uh, leader of the, planet, the third planet aliens, Moogle. Which you love. You love those guys. Oh, I, I, I have that, dude. He's awesome. So, for yeah, for the 68, it would be the Keylock Queen. 75 so, should have been Katsura. Yeah. You know that's going to come with Titanosaurus. Yes. Ka yeah, that's right. Sorry, sorry. Titanosaurus should have come with Katsura. That's what ti – I mean, since they didn't do that for Godzilla 75, you know they have to do that for Titanosaurus. And if they don't, they're going to do the little spaceship that got blown the crap up from Godzilla – but I doubt that. I think the Titan that uh, Katsura is what it's going to be because Katsura controlled Titanosaurus. So, or no, she didn't. She controlled yeah, she Mecha did. Godzilla. Yes, yeah, she did. She sure did. I thought she controlled Mecha Godzilla. She did both, both. Both of them. Both of them. I'm not nerdy enough. I feel bad now. <laughs> I'm going to drink beer and feel better. So, wait. Samson, you missed our talk topic we were talking about when they said they were releasing the 2000. Not one person bitched about it. Oh my God, no, nobody. You, there's nobody in this entire fandom right now that can whine about it. And not I, even the usual haters. Yeah, the yep. usual people are like, 
Um, it doesn't look good enough. I don't want to buy it. But you, no. you called out some people, and I loved it when you were we were talking. I forget what I think it was a seventy-five, and you were like, you called them out, man. I was like, you go, you called them out. I knew it, man. I mean, I know everybody. I mean, oh my God, you saved mine. You saved it. You made Godzilla seventy-five when he needed to be. You fixed his lip. You fixed his spines. I'm actually okay with his weird little dimples because if you watch the movie close enough, he actually has those. They look hey, you funny. know what? I'm a fucking plastic surgeon. <laughs> you are! Oh my god! That's what I am. I'm a plastic surgeon. He, but I don't get you like the money that they get. You have yeah, a I gotta, Dave, I gotta send mine out to you because look at that. Send it. Bring it on. Bring it. Bring it, bitch! Oh, shit. Send it. I oh, fixed it. Hot. I know, man. I gotta, I gotta get that lip. It just doesn't Rich, look right. Have you not been paying attention to this shit? To, the, to this shit? It's if a mess. No fear. I can fix it. He's not bragging. He's telling the truth. The he truth. can fix it. I know. I believe it. I, I never doubted it. Uh, I gotta go pee. Oh man, you have no idea. I gotta finish three more beers and then I'm gonna go pee. Hey. Shut up. No, you, you, <laughs> I, I love you, man. Don't tell me to shut up. All right, I'll shut up. Okay, you shut up. All right, um, yeah, but as David was saying, wait, I'll wait until David comes back, and then I'll, I'll, I'll. Oxygen destroyer. I dropped this in the water system. Wait, 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 wait. who is an oxygen destroyer? Where? Hang on. I want to look at, I got to click on your icon. Well, maybe you shut up for a second. Well, if you. <laughs> Look, look, look. Okay, everybody saw it because you talked. All right, but now it's my turn to talk. Yes, that is what you got with your Winterfest Godzilla 54 30 centimeter, correct? Yeah, that was my first buy from Mike Johnson, too. Love that. Fuck yeah, he's the man, dude. He's the man, man. What else did I... Oh, yeah, you know what? Oh, I really uh, like? Rich, could you pull out your 25 centimeter, your other Mecha Godzilla 74 to compare with that one? I want to see what they look like together. With your amazing duck pants. <laughs> quack, quack, motherfucker. Quack, quack. Quack, quack, motherfucker. All right, so, holy shit. You talk about a height difference. Well, you know, that the, the original is squatting and the other one's standing straight up. All right, well, I don't want to tilt this computer screen because it makes it look wrong, but I'm just going to bring them to the camera. Oh, there they are together. Cool. Yep, here we go. So, up the other one's chest. You could tell definitely... The paint job on the new 74 is a little bit more metallic, yeah. while on the original release of the 74, it's less metallic, more more light gray. Obviously, we can tell that the stances are different. The arms almost look... Ah, uh, they're a little bit different. Yeah. But, I mean, they're, I, I see how they're almost both pointed, like... Yeah. Outward. Look at that. I mean, they're almost the same. The eyes are different. Um, you know, Jim Jenkins. Hey, Jim, what's going on, man? He mentioned he noticed that on the new '74, the red here on the uh, where the ears are on the new '74 is actually a clear piece of plastic. Oh. While on the original, it's painted plastic. So oh. that gives it a little <laughs> bit more depth. Sam, you okay? Oh. <laughs> you uh. He just blew uh, his load. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, also, look at the eyes. They're different. The eyes are a darker color on the new one. Well, the first one, it's yellow, and the other one, it's red. No, 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 no. Wait, hold on. It's like oh, a... No, no, no. A burnt, hold on a minute. I got this. It's a burnt like orange. orange. Yellow. Yeah, oh, I keep okay, you're right. Yellow and orange. What oh, yeah, look at that. Wait. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Oh, wait. wait, does the new one's mouth open? Yeah, they both open. Yeah. Dude, awesome. you gotta you gotta stop, cause then if you keep showing it off, I gotta buy the new one, and I don't have the money right now. So. <laughs> you want me to show you? Hey, hey, Dan, do you want me to show you the shitty base? Okay, that shit, that shit, yeah. <laughs> the dissected what, turd. The only thing I don't like about this is because they made it for the fucking base. Is the legs are just straight? Yeah. Do the do the feet move? 
Rich? Uh, they rotate at the ankles. They okay, good. Yeah. The they, um, they rotate at the thigh, okay. and they rotate at the knee. Whoa! The, yeah, the so you have a lot of rotation. Do that. Dare I say articulation. Articulation. But you have yeah. rotation here at the, uh, at, the, at the waist, obviously. The arms rotate on both arms. Yeah. At the elbows, they rotate. The hands rotate. The cool. head rotates in case if you want to do the uh, kick-ass, you know, destroy King Caesar and Godzilla at the same time. Oh, man, that would actually be a pretty damn cool pose for him is to yeah. be like the neck you know, Godzilla and King Caesar. Yeah, that would be awesome. The head rotates. The neck also rotates over here. Just like the, 70, the first one, right? Yeah, so you could get a pretty decent pose out of this without the fucking base. Yeah, I mean, I oh, it's <laughs> like I would almost rather prefer keeping the money than paying for it, but I already ordered it through Mike, so I have to pay for it. Well, right it, it lights up, man, if you order it through Mike, so that's pretty badass. Well, no, I, I, got, the, I got the regular version through Mike. You can buy oh, both. Okay. You can buy the Rick Boy or the regular. I got the regular one. So. All right, I got it. I got this guys one of my favorite uh, resculpts. Yeah. This is the this is the original X plus sixty two. The Wait, that's Bandai plus Bandai got Godzilla yeah. Museum. Look at, look at look at what I did with the mouth. I closed it and resculpted it so it's not like gaping. What do you guys think you of that? You are a fucking magician. I saw that dude. You posted that in the X plus group like you always do. Anytime you do something amazing, you post it. And you customize the mouth. I think that you painted the claws a little bit different where they have an outline. They have an outline where the thumb where the claws meet the actual hand. What else did you do? Because I'm not gonna sound like an idiot trying to get I actually it. I, I just gave it a little bit of different highlights on this on the chest and stuff. But anyway, this is this is the favorite one that I did of because uh, I, I never liked this figure. The mouth was like a trap jaw, so I, I just hated it, so I just fixed it. And I was it was scary. This was the first one that I changed ever. So and it came out pretty good, so I'm pretty happy with it. And and this is I, I like this figure better than the X plus light up fin newer sixty two, which I actually sold. Oh yeah, that's the one, Sam. Yeah, I did a good job on that guy. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah. I I was so happy about this thing. It's like, I wanted to keep him, you know. I know you did. <laughs> you also wanted to keep I mean look, here we go. Paired up. Boom. Sixty six. The scale is perfect. You know, I feel yeah, the scale is pretty damn perfect, but I feel like he scales up almost a little bit better with the X plus. But yeah, look at these two. They do look pretty damn amazing. Well, yeah, that, that mouth was a pain in the ass too. Oh my god. You I mean you're not kidding. That thing would not st oh god, beer. Uh this thing would not, he would it would not stay. I mean, you kind of worked with another one of my X plus well, you didn't work with the whole thing, but you worked with my 72 Godzilla. You saved his head. I forgot about that one. From that horrible accident that I had at school. Dude, I was can like... You tell, can you Can you tell where it was? I mean, I know where it was, but you already... You saved it. It's like... It, I can't... I can't even tell that you did anything to it. Yay. So it's already like... You, you already, like, saved it. For all those of you that are watching out there, David saved this thing's head... Because I had a horrible scratch on the very top of its head because one of my asshole friends at school when I was in ninth grade was like, hey, what's that? Thwoop, just throws it through the air, and it crashes into the concrete and scratches the crap out of its head. You must yeah, I had some majorly good friends in high school. They were good guys. <laughs> Yeah, going back on the 66 Godzilla, this is my Marmot Kit 66 that David saved and or just saved. So it was a blank figure. I tried to take off as much crappy paint as I tried to do to it, but he painted it. He did an amazing job. The fins look amazing. The rest of the body looks amazing. The mouth looks amazing. The eyes look amazing. The claws look amazing. Uh, okay, everything looks amazing. Let's just get to that. Thanks, guy. Thank you. It's like, you're the man when it comes to getting these things done, dude. And if you don't charge as much as Kaiju Zoo, which is great. Is he, is he still around? I don't even know. That guy was really old. I don't even know if he's still around. He hasn't updated his page in years or year. I remember him. 
So I, uh, I didn't like. He, he, he's good with the with. I don't airbrush anything. I use just regular paint by hand with brushes. I I mean I will admit he is the one that did my Ebira because I sent this to him years back. He did a nice job on that. I gotta say. He did. He did a magnificent job, but it cost me almost as much or twice as much as the model kit itself. It's like right. I bought the thing off eBay for eighty bucks. It cost about two hundred dollars to get this. Thing. <gasps> yeah. Is that, thing. is that how much he charged you to paint it? Yeah, I built it myself, but he charged two hundred dollars to paint it. Oh, that's that's a little bit steep, man. It was, I mean, it's $20 an hour, and he said I probably spent like 10 hours, or he said I spent like 14 hours on it, but because you're a returning client, I'll only charge you 10 hours. So it was still $200 to get it completely painted. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. If somebody I don't know wants some shit done, I will not give them the prices I give you guys. That's for sure. That's for sure. I hope I hope nobody's listening to this. Are they? <laughs> no, no, we're, we we're not live anymore. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> hey, actually, we only have um about forty five minutes. minutes left before we get booted live. <laughs> Dude, we did it again. We were on for we're gonna be on for four hours again. Hey, Shut hey, my mouth it. wide open. <laughs> We did that last time. What I love, though, is no matter who watched, I mean, even if you're watching this live, it's ridiculous, but I know people that will watch this from beginning to end after it's posted on Rich's webpage. I mean, they'll sit there and watch it from beginning to, beginning to end. And as you can tell, I'm getting drunker by the minute. So am I. I mean, we all know that, hang on, i got to pour the rest of this, and I'll cheer you. Greg Cordero, or however you pronounce his last name, it's Cordero, I think. But yeah, he the last live stream that Rich and I and a bunch of other people did. Me, yeah, and John, you and John. Yeah, it was me and was it just the three of us? Well, Dan, Dan yeah. came in at the last minute, but yeah, yeah, Dan came in the last forty, like half hour. But uh, yeah, Greg watched the whole thing. He watched it in segments, but he sat there and watched the whole thing. Who else has a beer or a drink or anything? <laughs> Cheers to being the nerdiest douchebags on the internet. <laughs> Boom. Okay, I'll go out cheers to that. <laughs> you know it's true. Well, you know, I mean, I guess I'm being a douchebag because there's been some people that are asking if they can get on live. And no, you can't because this is for 21 and up because that's how it is. So get over it. Go back to Toho Kingdom. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Rich, you're one cold motherfucker. I got to pee. You are hardcore, yeah. Okay, so uh, Samson's gone. Face. Samson's gone, so one of us can get a word in here. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I got the X plus Mega Neuron here. Uh, David, you wanted to see that. I did want to see that. That is big, man. That's yeah, awesome. it's a pretty, it's a pretty decent size. Uh, it's hard to hard to really see the paint detail, but you know, I it's it's not the greatest paint detail, but it's pretty good. But yeah, I'm glad I got this because because besides Godzilla, of all the Toho monster movies, Rodan's my favorite. So Me too, I agree. I had to get that. It's a really great movie. Boy, is that cool! And boy, do yeah. I regret not getting the Rick Boy one because that's I thought it was going to be really small. That sucker's big, man. Yeah, it's it's like uh, seven inches or so. Pretty decent oh, size. Yeah, he's good. Thanks, thanks, thanks for sharing that. You want to sell that guy, huh? Uh, man, I, I actually, I originally had the regular version, and I, I found this on Yahoo Japan because I was like, what was I thinking? Why didn't I get the Rick Boy? Me too. It, that happens sometimes, but I mean, I, I managed to track down the Rick Boy on Yahoo Japan, and and uh, really good deal actually. So, um, I actually paid yes less for the Rick Boy than I did for originally for the for the regular. Isn't that a crock of shit? That's crazy. Wow. Yeah, so um, I guess just watch Yahoo Japan. I've only seen it pop up once, but it, it may pop up again. How do, you, how do you order from Yahoo Japan? I go through uh, Shopping Mall Japan. How, how, how do you find that? Is that, is that difficult? Uh, shoppingmalljapan.com. It's actually a really good website. They have uh, a bidding system that you can either place bids in real time or you can, you can tell it to snipe for you and it'll place the bid at the very last minute for you. And it has built-in translators. It actually has four different built-in translators so you can get uh, 
four different, because I mean the translators always, sometimes you kind of have to interpret the translations, but when you have four different translators built in, it makes it a lot easier. And they just, they have a really advanced system. They're very flexible. You only have to put in, um, what is it, 20% of your actual bid amount of deposit, and you put the deposit in ahead of time. So if you put in $100, you get like $500 worth of uh, bids allowed. And wow. also, you, you don't have to pay. They give you like two weeks to pay after mm -hmm. they've paid the seller. It's a very flexible website. It's very easy to work with. Um, Shopping Mall Japan. The only problem with Shopping Mall Japan is you will be so tempted to buy like freaking everything <laughs> that pops yeah, up on I mean, Yahoo Japan. It's probably best that I don't hook up with that. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I got a lot of my stuff. Yeah. I mean, somebody was asking in the comment section about seeing a GMK. Oh, yeah, cool. This is the built-up kit. I think, David, you were talking about this before, but this is the West Kenji built-up. I bought right. it, like, to get it in the box. So. Did you wow. buy it? Wait, did you buy it pre-built and painted? Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's pre-built. It's pre-built. It comes in, the, in a giant um, blister box, just like how's, this. Sort of. How's the paint job? I can't really tell from here. It's not bad. Um, Did you, you click know, it? You I'm can click on it. Maybe it looks a little bit better. But it, it's pretty good. You know, the eyes look great. The dorsal plates look pretty good. The skin is textured pretty well. Um, I really don't have any complaints about it. I mean, it's not the best mold and sculpt of him, but it captures the, the, the demonic style of GMK pretty damn well. Oh, that's, that's, that's a pretty cool figure. Yeah, I've had this for a while, so I, I dig him. Do you have the X plus one? Like centimeter. What's that, Dave? Do you have the X plus one too? I have the twenty-five centimeter one. Oh. Are you gonna, get, are you gonna get the thirty? Nah, I have I I have really no desire. I like the twenty-five way 25 better. Twenty-five is is just amazing. It's so fucking awesome, man. I love it. It's just yeah. Oh, twenty-five. Twenty-five is just. Badass, you know. I mean, I really can't complain against this one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. To compliment your West, <laughs> West Kenji GMK, I have the. Uh, this is the West Kenji uh, 2001 Baragon. Oh wow! Oh, wow. Take a look at that. And this thing, like, I don't know. Can X Plus top this thing, man? This thing is awesome. You can, you, can, can. you never know. <laughs> if they actually come out with it, man, I'd love for X Plus to come out with the full GMK lineup. Did you, is is that your? Was that it? Wasn't built and painted, right? Or did, you, or did you paint it? Uh, I bought it from a guy who built and painted it. Um, a guy in England. I paid fifty five dollars for this thing, man. Woo! That's. Nice. <laughs> oh wait, is that is that from Ryan Mitchell? No, uh, I can't remember the guy's name. There's a cool um, guy from England named Ryan who has an awesome collection. He sells stuff for really good prices too. No, this guy. Uh, God. I, David O something. I can't remember. He's got a strange last name, or just an uncommon last name. But he was selling a ton of kits. He had an impressive collection of kits that he had built. And some of them he had done a really good job. Like his paint job on this one was really, really nice. The eyes look pretty accurate. I can see, yeah. dude. That's pretty damn good. I mean, I should... that's why I envy a lot of you guys out there, like David especially, that you guys can, like, you can do the amazing paint jobs on stuff. It's like, shit, I've tried to do stuff like that. I can't do it. I cannot fix my own figures. I cannot paint my figures and or model kits to look more awesome. That's why I send them off to people like David to do stuff like that for me. I would rather pay than screw up my thing more. So, yeah. It takes practice, man. I've built, I've built and painted a few model kits myself, and I mean the first the first ones that I did were terrible. Uh, yeah. I actually plan to go back and strip the paint off them and redo them now that I've gotten. Dude, I've done I've, I've done that, Dan and Samson. I've done that. I've I've taken kits that I started from back in the day, and I've completely disassembled them and rebuilt them and repainted them and tidied them up. And and it's just it you know what it is. It's just not being afraid. If if you fuck it up, you take it apart and you do it again. You know, yeah. resin is oh. a different story. Re resin, once you do it, it's done. Yeah. Oh shit. With putting stuff together, I'm fine at doing that. Like I put together this Ebira myself. Ebira, Ebira, Ebira. Yeah, great. You did a great job. I put it together myself. It's just a matter of painting it. <laughs> just practice. Just practice. 
I know. It's just that, oh, my God. The, the, I mean, the Kaiju guy did an amazing job on this. So, I'll tell you what's the best way to practice, man. Get some uh, Bondi USA figures. Strip the paint <laughs> off of those. Or, or, yeah, Bondi Creations and, and just repaint those. That's actually a great place to practice. Also, they have recast kits on eBay you can get for super cheap. Uh, the you know they're kind of not that great of quality. They're a little bit difficult to put together, but it's a great place to practice your painting skills if you want to then work up to a yeah. like, well, with legit me and Bandai, model kit. With me and Bandai Creation, it's well with me and painting. Excuse me, I don't even know where to start. I don't know what paints to buy. I don't know how to start. The paints that I have, they're super glossy, so they look kind of weird if I try to paint stuff. I mean, I don't like shit that's, like, super glossy with the Evira. I actually asked the guy to paint this thing super glossy so it looked like right. he was fresh out of water. But with other stuff, I don't know where to start with paints to get it not looking so damn glossy. Well, it, it, it takes practice, and it takes a lot of guts to, to, to rip shit apart and to, uh, to change it because... Man, I'm scared sometimes when I'm ripping jaws off. I'm like, am I going to be able to put this back on the right way? And uh, luckily, um. not, yeah. Well, you know, that's when when I was cutting those horns off, I'm like, oh, shit. oh shit, dude. I mean, you're seamless with this thing. I have no idea. What, I don't even remember because I'm very unsober. I have no idea where the horns used to be on this guy. And how did how did you do this, Manda? Did you cut his entire bottom jaw off? And then I did. I ripped I ripped the whole bottom jaw off and we sculpted it. That's how you, because, and, that's and how you cut, it. Was, it was sticking out too far, so I cut part of the back off and I stuck it back on so he his mouth could be open. Dude, you didn't admit, I mean, I remember, wait, the original uh, Ultra Q figure of this, his mouth was a little bit wider than this one. This, it was, this yeah, one. it was like a trap jaw, yeah. And is that how you did it? You cut the entire bottom jaw off, you painted the inside of the upper jaw, then yeah. you painted the lower jaw, and then you put it together? Yeah. I mean, god damn, this thing looks good. <laughs> Thanks, man. appreciate that. I appreciate it. You have no idea. And the fact that it fits in perfect scale with the 25-centimeter figures from X-Plus is just even more astounding. I, I mean, I, I'm thrilled. I mean, I, I, I've always wanted to have the whole complete... You know, destroy all monster set. It looks like Chris, you have all them. I, I know. Chris, Chris, you have all of them, right? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like you've got. And, and how do you have your Rodan standing up straight? Yeah, holy crap. Actually, well, I got fishing line tied around his neck, and then I got a pin to the back of the wall. No way. <laughs> That's it. There you go. That's that the way to do it. it. Oh, oh, the wings started sagging, and then you start falling over, and that was the only thing I could come up with to be able to hold him upright, and, and that way you're not able to see it if anybody looks. He looks fantastic from here. <laughs> I would you very much. go get mine, but I'm not going to. Um, okay, but here's a random topic that I thought of that I've always been interested with other collectors. How and why do you organize your figures? With me, I'll go ahead and start this by saying I do mine in chronological order, and the reason why is because I can't – I'm OCD, I'm very OCD, and I can't organize my figures any other way. It has to be from 1954 to 2004. That's how it has to be. So that's my reasoning. Everybody else, take it away. Rich? My shit's all mixed up. <laughs> Why? I mean, it's because I have, I don't have the room that I really want. I mean, I probably could if I really wanted to, but I'm planning on getting out of here hopefully next year into a house. But if you can look behind me, I'm going to do this short and sweet. I got Bandai, X Plus, Bandai, and X Plus on the same shelf. I got shit all over the place. It just, I, I have just too much shit. I got... <coughs> I got too much shit. I mean, I've seen over there to your to your right. You have those awesome figures on the like with Biolante and all your large scale figures. You organize it basically by the amount of room that you have. Yeah. Like, it's like whatever room that you have, you put it there. I love these right here. Oh yeah, I can see. I all love the these. Jedi. What do you have? The original. The. I got the, the Godzilla, the Burning Godzilla. Yeah. I got the theater exclusive mail in order. 
But then I have the theater exclusive that was released in the theater because it's got the white sticker on it. So these are two different because they're two different tags. No, man, man, you haven't had this conversation. That's right, we have. And then I have the Forever Glitter, and then I have the Forever Meltdown with the rest of the Forever series. Whoa, 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 what was that? <laughs> what was that? That was my cue to go get another drink before I keep pissing off all these... All right, well, I understand why you organize yours. Yours is just like I put them in whatever order I can so that they'll all fit. But, all right, all well, right. this is going all to right. get more beer. Anybody else? Take it away. Uh, mine, the way I do it is I have X plus ultra figures in one shelf all together. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. You have your okay. Ultraman separate from your Godzilla. I've seen that. 30 centimeter Godzilla X plus on one shelf. Destroy All Monsters collection on one shelf. Mm, nice. Bandai on three shelves. Big scale figures on one shelf. Model kits on one shelf. It's just all about trying to, I, I don't do it, I'm trying to do like fitting where they would fit and sort of kind of where they belong. You know, it's the same category basically, like all yeah. Bandai's, all X plus, all, like you have separate categories, all of the Destroy exactly. All Monsters. Exactly. So I'm, I'm a little bit OCD. It's oh, that's New York City, right? Oh shit! They're coming to get my figures. I gotta go. I'll be right back. That's that's gotta be New York and making all that noise, right? Yep. It is. Yeah. Where do you live? What, what what neighborhood do you live in? I live in Brooklyn, Fort Greene. Brooklyn. Oh, you live in Brooklyn? Fuck. Brooklyn. I love that's Brooklyn. That's where that's where my girlfriend is from. I, I, I was born in Queens, oh, yeah. Park. I lived in Park Slope for many years. I'm I've lived in Athens, Georgia, you know, my entire life. So shit, I've been down here to the south for as long as I can remember. You and R. I I run out of Jack Daniels. Go get you some more alcohol, motherfucker. I'm from <laughs> I'm from Texas. Hey, wait, who's from Texas? I'm from Texas, man. This ain't the South. This is Texas. This is Texas. This is where George <laughs> Bush was born. Something, I don't know. I, I'm not getting into politics, so never mind. Uh, if the, I don't get into politics, no. No, me no. neither. I'm, I don't give a shit about politics, man. I don't even care. I'm up here with I, all the hipsters in Seattle. The what? <laughs> all the hipsters in Seattle. Oh, dude, you have no idea what Athens hipsters are like, dude. We are covered... I mean, because I live in Athens, Georgia, so I'm right on campus for UGA. So we have like yeah, the most special. we have the most hipster kids you can imagine. Every time I go to Goodwill, all the good shit is gone because the hipsters <laughs> took over and bought it all. So it's like, <laughs> fuck, I hate hipsters, man. It's like <laughs> I have to like I have to like disguise myself and pretend I'm a hipster so I can get in with the group and assassinate the leader. <laughs> I'm way too old to be a hipster. Hey, Rock, real quick, we got 30 minutes left on this stream. If you guys want to keep going, I'll start another one. So just, you know, we got 30 uh, minutes. After this, I got to go eat dinner. I haven't eat, I've been here since 5 o'clock. It's 8.30 now for me. Oh, my God. It's all right. It's you know, I'll just, I just want to say we, we got 30 minutes left on this stream. So if anybody right. wants to keep going, I mean, we will only get kicked off the live, so the room will still be open, so whatever. Yeah, we'll still be here, but it's like, Google, our live thing will be over, so let's try to wrap this up and, uh... I gotta say... I got 30 say, minutes, 30 I'm minutes. So, I'm so bummed that I missed hanging out with you guys at G-Fest. Yeah, man. Oh hey, my god, what? David! Oh. You, next <laughs> next hey, year, man. I'm there. You, I'm exactly, there. man. You, you, did, you did what was important, what was a priority, so... Kudos to you, man. You did what you Oh, know. fuck yeah, man. You got to do what you got to do. There it is. Fuck yeah. And I fucking went to Monster Island, man. I went to... Woo! Uh, all right. right. We, we've totally interrupted everybody. So me, Rich, and David have explained why, like how and why yes. we do our figures. So everybody else? Somebody else. Do it. Uh, Wait, I got John my... Go? Oh, my God. I didn't even realize. John okay, Chris. Chris, you, you are, did you explain yours? No, not okay, yet. Go. Mine, mine is pretty much I have to go by size. I'm one of them sort of like Sam. I can't mix big and small and stuff like that together. i got to start big and work my way down. Buy me a bigger house! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
there just yeah. explains it all right there. That's the best thing I heard all night. <laughs> oh my god. Well no, see me me, yes, I do mix big and small. My thing I do mix big and small, it's from beginning to end, from nineteen fifty four to two thousand form. I'm O C D in the fact that it has to be in chronological order. If it's not, it's yeah. like ah, that's just how I am. I think it was with Rich or David that this has to be from big to small. Or it has to be oh my god. I thought Chris was talking. Why is Sam talking again? <laughs> <laughs> he can't help himself. <laughs> but no, I can't. I just have a problem. I can't mix like the the twenty fives and and the thirties together, and even with my band eyes, I got to start with like the big on the top shelf and work my way down. As I go down, the figures get smaller. Well, hang on, uh, dude, Chris. By the way, it's very great to meet you. I've never talked to you before. Um, nice to meet you too. Very nice to meet you, man. I mean, I've seen you on the group. I've uh, seen all your good stuff. But, oh, my God, I see you have, like, majority. All you have, is, as far as I can see, is an X-plus behind you. Where's your other stuff? Can you even point at that? What kind of camcorder do you have? I keep camcorder. Uh, Amazing uh, band. Uh, yeah, hair off to the side. <laughs> That's what I keep on all the guys. You made him do. You made him move the fucking computer. Now his signal breaking up. <laughs> oh, excuse uh, me for being a good friend and asking what's up. I'm not. I'm not in my Godzilla room. I'm bummed. I know, dude. I mean, neither am I. Look, I you have my it. amazing. You have my amazing kitchen with my dying cat on the counter to look at. So there's that. But I mean, besides that. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I, unfortunately, my laptops, they're screwed to all hell. I can't even, like, work my laptops to work in my room. So, all right, it's time for Dan and Ryu. Excuse me, how do you pronounce the name? Ryu or Ryu? How do you? How do you... Ryu. Ryu, okay. Fuck, I've been nice it's, 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 from Ninja, it's from Ninja Gaiden. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah, well, yeah. by the way, it's very nice to meet you too, man. I've never talked to you before, so it's very nice to talk to you and meet you in person. Or, well, it's kind of like meeting you in person. Either way, we're face to face. I get to hear you. I get to hear your voice. We're kind of face to face, so booyah! It's almost the same thing. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> so, anybody else? Dan, Ryu, uh, I'll go. Do your figures, and I'll try to. I'll try to go as fast as I can. I got my uh, thirty centimeter Godzilla's on top of my fridge. Uh, any other 30 centimeter figures are on top of the cabinets in my kitchen, and then all my 25 centimeter Godzillas are lined up on the other cabinet in my kitchen. Behind me is my cabinet full of Ultra Monsters, oh, and that. anything that runs over all like my model kits, uh, my Giant Series Ultra Monsters, anything, uh, certain Toho figures that I just don't have room for. That's all in my bedroom, and in my bedroom it's a total mess. The, the Ultra Count, it's a total mess, too. Uh, the scales are all whacked out. It's basically, it's a jig, jigsaw puzzle. Any way I can fit it together, like, the, every time I get a new figure, I'm like, where the frig am I going to put it? And I just, <laughs> I somehow figure out how to manage it in there. And then, But unfortunately, lately, I've started having to box up some figures. Uh, i got to start, like, building shelves or something, because um, it's just not working. Organized uh, chaos. Yeah, it's, it's organized chaos, definitely. Uh, but, you know, I mean, there's not really any single figure I want to get rid of. Uh, they're all awesome. Um, so eventually when I build some new shelves, uh, I'll make it work, and I'll get them a little bit more organized according to scale. Um, now, if I do have a larger, like a monster that I have in 30 centimeter and one I have in 25 centimeter for the Ultra Kaiju, I kind of like to have those right next to each other. But with the Godzillas, I don't. I separate them. Uh, so... You mean like if you have – so like if an Ultra Kaiju is 30 and 25, you have those right next to each other. So it's like boom, here's the 30 of the same figure, and boom, here's the 25 of the same figure. And you have them right next to each other, correct? Big brother, big brother, little brother. Right, and with Godzilla's, it's with not Godzilla's, like – With Godzilla's, totally separate. So you have the 30 centimeters of the Godzilla on one shelf and the 25s on the separate. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Okay, yeah, I'm just trying it. to grasp the concept. I am very not sober, so I'm <laughs> the damnedest I can I need that one, Rich. to pay attention to what's going on. I need uh, that one. 
Rich, I hate you. That is the only freaking 25 that I don't have. I don't have it either. I do not have it. I ordered it from that site that Brad gave me, but I haven't heard back from them yet. I'm expecting them to say that it was a mistake. Uh, but who was the Rick boy for this? Uh, so it boy. was the swimming form. Yep. Hetera. It was the swimming one. form, which was probably oh. not very big. I have never seen the Rick boy of that one. No, unfortunately, that figure was not a hot buy when it came out, so there weren't many Rick Boy releases. This is awesome. that's, why, that's why it's so damn hard to find a Rick Boy of this, the uh, first stage Hedorah. That's why nobody can really get a Rick Boy except for Mike Johnson because he bought the fucking thing when it came out. You know what I love about this figure? It, if you look, it has the fucking seams there, accurate just like the goddamn costume was. Oh, it's the same with the Rick Boy. Wait, Rich, you're amazing, and you got the Rick Boy 71 Godzilla, right? Yes. Okay. Did you look at the back of that figure? Of Godzilla? Yes. Zipper. Look at it. Ryu, how do you organize your figures? Uh, I got mine like just all around. I have like. 30 centimeters up top here, a back shelf my 25s, back shelf of my 30s. Uh, over here, I got some more 25s and 30s underneath my swords. And then on my desk, I just have a bunch of SH Master Arts, which prevents me from really moving my screen around. <laughs> what is that directly behind you? It looks like 25 centimeter figures on that little cabinet behind you. Over there? Yes. No, those are all 30s. The GMK, Final Wars, 84, oh, wow. 89, and uh, 95 resin. Oh, nice. 95 resin, huh? That's yeah. a nice, that's the best. Well, that and the Ghidorah are the best resin figures that they released. The Ghidorah yeah. is awesome. I have the Ghidorah with not one broken spine. Thank you very much. Woo! Mine is still in the box. I'm afraid to even touch it. You know what? Seriously, be careful. If you if you look at it wrong, it's gonna fucking break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. It could be a, the, I, like the the swimming version of the, which one would work best? The these why best? Which one would be best to go with the header? What? I'm sorry, we're really breaking up. Yeah, you're breaking up kind of bad. Say that again. These are like the these was made by YMSF. Ah. But which one would be the best version to use, like for the swimming version? I think any of them. I have I have that one too, Chris. Oh wait, the swimming version was um. Crap. Wait, hold on. I don't even know. Okay, hold those back up again. You guys have this? The marmot. No, I have the X plus. It's better. All right. The, <laughs> the marmot. The marmot paint job is badass, and the way the vinyl is sculpted, it looks like the actual suit. Yeah, but so does the X-Plus, if you know what I mean. I know, but look at this guy. I know, it is pretty damn good. I like how, I actually like how skinny it is, but Chris, what you were holding up in your left hand, that's the swimming version, the other one. The other one is the uh, version... This that one here? To, yeah, that's the swimming version for sure. The one that you're holding in your in your right hand that is the one that Godzilla holds as he's doing like his flying through the air thing when he's carrying Hedorah back to the uh, electrocution whatever to kill him. So that one in your left hand, that's the that's the swimming version for sure. For sure. Yeah. I need to get them painted because the eyes and everything's not painted. It's got the the place oh, yeah, there I know. to paint um, the pupils. But. The guy, did you buy those from Tempting Toys? Uh, yeah. Yeah, the guy from Tempting Toys, Tony from Tempting Toys, Tony Preto. he's kind of sold those. Rich has those figures also. He yeah. bought the whole set. Uh, they are all unpainted. Wait, Rich. That's the Flying Hedra. The, the Flying Hedra, that is painted. The eyes are painted, but there's not much detail. I yeah, mean, there's it, the Flying. It's just the Flying version does have the, the eyes are painted, but there's no detail in the body. But with the... Uh, with the swimming version and the version that Godzilla carries back to the atomic uh, or the electric thing to get him like destroyed, those aren't painted, unfortunately. It's one of those cop-out kind of things. It kind of sucks. I'm going to get some more beer. <laughs> America. <laughs> America. 
Hey, hey, so before we go off the air in about 15 minutes or so, um, for those who missed it, even though I know Sam did, he's going to miss it again, whatever. I'll just remind his crazy ass. <laughs> We're going to be doing another live stream either Octo the last weekend of October or the first weekend of November. It depends on Kyle Yount. Is that how you pronounce it, Dave? Yount, yeah. Yount or Yount? How do they tell you to pronounce it? Yount. Kyle, Kyle from KaijuCast, he's going to Japan for about two weeks or so, and he said he'd love to get in on one of these, you know, these live streams, so... Why is he in to... Japan? What? While he's in Japan or when he gets back? No, no when he's fucking Planet yeah. X. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when he's in Japan. Yeah, while he is in Japan, you know, so I want to try to coordinate with him as far as what works best for him as far as time zone and all that stuff. And um, I'm going to slap the dates up as soon as I, you know, confirm that with Kyle. And we'll go from there while he's in the motherland. Cool. Now, what's, he, what's he doing in Japan? He's going to be having a great time, that's for sure. Shit. Well, I mean, besides that, that's awesome. I don't, but I don't, I don't, know, I don't know exactly what I he's doing. He's just doing a big, he, he's, he and his girlfriend are going for a vacation, I think. Yeah, that's, mm. yeah, that's all I know. That's, he's, a, oh, he's an awesome guy. Yeah. He, He's in my neck of the woods. He lives in Portland. Yeah, that's awesome. We met him at G Fest. Oh, yeah. I wish oh, I. Oh, dude, he was so out Kyle more. I mean, Dan, I wish. We, yeah, you know who else we meet? We met Dan. Yeah, yeah. Dan. I mean, all uh, right. Yeah. From the X Plus group, it was me, Rich, Dan, Jim Jenkins, Greg Cordero, Rob Doyer. Who? Rob who? Doyer, Vince Casamento. Oh. I don't. I don't know who any of those are. Uh it's. Uh, it's all. They're there. They're there. Not as much well, as. We they're are. there. Go look them up. <laughs> Rob. Rob Dwyer's on there pretty regularly. Oh, Rob. Yeah. Oh, Rob. He always comments on my shit. He kind of is like tries to bust my balls. Damn you, Rob. <laughs> Robert, Robert likes to bust everybody's balls. That's fine. I love it. I love it. Give it. I bust. I bust my own balls from time to time. It really hurts. <laughs> 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 you know, you know, Brad. Brad and I were talking. Brad's gonna go next year too, I think. Awesome. Brad. Brad is a mysterious character. Yes, he is. We don't know what he looks like. We don't really know anything about him. He started our group, but he's he's in the shadows. Oh, <laughs> Brad, and plus the guy, Brad, the dude that started our group. I mean, everybody knows what I look like. I've been around for a fucking year and a half or something like. That. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Well, Brad, Brad is on my team, so Brad, Robert, and I are all on, on, on the same team, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah, I do. What's that? Yeah, you know what I mean. Fuck yeah, pound so, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Boom! Like, it's, it's interesting because we don't really fit the mold, but it's, it's awesome. That's, that's why I like it so much because we're sort of like the non – Typical Godzilla collectors. Yeah. Don't you love? Don't you love when you technically don't fit the stereotype of a nerd? I told. Well, not, I'm not saying. I'm not saying nerd. I'm just saying for my. He's a nerd. I'm, no, I. Dave, I, I got. Excuse me. What the hell are you talking about? Excuse me, sir. What okay. one do you want? You want the the sprite or you yeah. want the? Oh God! Again? Here we go again. What is what that? I'm I'm kind of confused what, what we're talking nice. about. This, um, Are we talking about how you you're like a man's man? No, no, no. We're 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 all gay. Rit, uh, Brad, me, and, and Robert are gay. Okay. And see, but, I don't give a shit, dude. Same I, am not, I am not stereotypical. I'm not like ew, gay. It's like I don't give a fuck. Who the hell are we? <laughs> yeah. What's Who it? Is it gay? Once in a blue moon, <laughs> once in a blue moon, somebody says some stupid shit that pisses that's me off. That's their own fucking ignorance and fucking. Yeah, and, 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 and you're an ignorant you know, motherfucker. You can go to hell, man. I don't give it a shit, dude. Damn it! I bite my tongue. I bite my tongue a lot, but there's there's a couple people that say some stupid shit that piss yeah. me off. Okay, well, well, fuck those people. That's all I have to say. Yeah. David, I thought you'd been cool <laughs> since the day I met you, and I've known all along. Do you play for the same team? And I thought that you've been cool as shit ever since. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. I mean, go to hell if you don't if you're an ignorant motherfucker. I mean, I just I don't care. If you're cool, you're cool. I'm not yeah. racist. I'm not ignorant. I don't give a shit. If you're cool, 
You're cool. That's hey, how hey Sam. How much is he down? Are we all cool? What? In real life? <laughs> Who the hell is no. that? Someone's trying to eat Rich, that's coming from your freaking mic. It's not. There's no other woman in here unless fucking Godzilla 71 is talking like a <laughs> woman. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Are you talking? It's mine. <laughs> it's me. me. Buy me a bigger house. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. So it was Wendy earlier that I thought I was hearing fucking kids and crazy shit, right? I am straight. I need a bigger house. I love and that. And oh, God, I need a bigger house. to put my piano. I feel like I'm on acid right now. I, I think we all had a little bit one too many cocktails. I don't know. But. <laughs> no, I'm so good. I have 12 more to go. Yeah, 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 Sam. While your eyes look heavier than a fucking <laughs> Cadillac full of Italian bodies in the back <laughs> whoa, 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 what was that? That's Frankie. It's our pizza. We just ordered a pizza. Thank you. Not my, not my mic down. <laughs> Damn, what are you doing? I feel like I'm in Gravity or something. <laughs> hey, if you guys haven't seen the movie Gravity, oh, definitely go oh, check it out because it is gravity. awesome. Otherwise, you'd be sucked off the planet. <laughs> eyeball. Nice eyeball. Wow. Poke. Thanks. Oh, oh, come on, dude. There's somebody's grill. <laughs> All right, here, let, let, let's... Uh, let, our last question, try to get this some cool stuff wrapped up. Favorite X plus figure? Oh, only one? Right. Dave, you go. Only one. How one. about one. top three? All right, top three. Go ahead, shoot. Rick Boy, 64, light up fins, number one. <laughs> um... I don't know. You guys go. That's it for me. <laughs> All right. I'm going to agree with David. Rick Boy 64 light up fins. So far. One's a 30 centimeter 92. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I like the God 30 centimeter it, 92 as well. 92. All right. We got two for the 64, two for the 92. Uh, thirty. I'd say 30 centimeter 68 Barragon. Ah. Uh, oh. Ooh. Um, Ooh. the 95 Gamera, Ooh. and the uh, Giant Series Gyango. That is more than one. No, he said three. He said three. three. He oh. said three. No, wait, everybody didn't I name three. Go ahead, I only need one. See, here is where we need Bram. I'd go with the 95 Who Gamera, the, the 95 Bram? or the 96. It'd be a toss-up. <laughs> God damn it, Sam! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Man, that tastes like. I friggin'. want one. Who wants one? What? Oh wait, no. number two's got to be the 25 centimeter quadruped Baragon. <laughs> Sam, put that pussy down. <laughs> well, that's not something you hear in everyday conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I hear that all the time. Are you kidding me? Shit. All right, who's next? Ryu, Ryu, you said 92, uh, right? His name was I said 92. 25 centimeter, 89 damaged uh, version. Wow. You have that? <laughs> what? Have it? Have it? It's, it's being mailed into me right now. Oh. Uh, so you don't have it. That shit, you better hope that shit isn't broken, dude. Because yeah, I was, I'm nervous about that. Well, you, can, you can fix it. It's freaking Jordan Chin, man. Jordan, he got his. And he forgot to open it for a year. He got his off eBay. He opened it a year later. It was broke. Okay, Jordan, here's the thing. Don't open it. How could you live? How could you not open it a year part? later? Who waits a year to have box day? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> I got the few for three minutes of playtime. <laughs> Any love for the Megalon? Oh, Megalon's awesome. Yeah, good, good stuff. Sam, guy gone for you. Guy gone, Sam. Yeah. No. Oh, oh, oh fuck. Yeah, I got the guy again. All right. Good little bastard, go. 
Yeah, I got. I got. I'm an old bastard. It sounds um, all right. Look, I it's his little pet. Yeah. Am I supposed to name my number one figure or my top three? What are we doing here? If you got top three, go top three. If you got one, name one. Well, I have a top three because I have three that are tied for first place in a way. Well, get out of here, cat. Unfortunately, my <laughs> first, my new number one. Yes, I'm talking to you too, bossy. Because. Buzzhead. <laughs> My new number one, because he's amazing and he's always had a major, he's always had a big spot in my heart. Wait, is my heart on my left side? Yes, it is. Okay, he's had a big spot in my heart since, like, always. The new X plus King Caesar is my number one figure that I have right now. Because Kings, I mean, they did a magnificent job sculpting that thing. There are no flaws in it, David. I'm extremely sorry. Yours got kind of screwed up, but thank you. It, I mean, it was janky, man. It was fucked up. It's kind of good. It's kind of bad that you were the one that got the screwed up one, but you could fix yours. Ah. Man, the rest man, of us couldn't fix yeah. it, but I mean, but yes. It X still looks like he's doing a low job. Number one for me. What? Number two is X plus 25 centimeter Gorosaurus. <laughs> And then number three has got to be the X Plus Winterfest Jet Jaguar. Which I don't have. <laughs> I need it. I need it. Wait. That's awesome. Wait, you haven't I got the... I need it for uh... Graham. <laughs> Wait, which one? I mean, you, do I, you have... I don't have any. You don't I'm... have the regular or the Winterfest? I need one. Help me. Oh, my God. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm not going to sell you either of the ones that I have. But um, I've asked you already, too, haven't I? I yeah, you <laughs> did, and I respect that because you were like, you know, you have two of them, so why not sell me one? And I'm like, no. <laughs> uh, well, no man, I, didn't say, I didn't say same it like thing that. with uh, no, these no, guys. Very respectable. I'm you not want... selling either one of these guys. <laughs> oh, I got cute. the six, 67. <laughs> 68. Oh, Dan, 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 you have both Rick boys. Damn it, I want one. Dan, 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 pound it. Dan, which one do you like? Boom! Do you like the 67 or the 68 Minya? Uh, the 67 Either. one. The 67 one looks a little bit goofier, so I gotta pick that. Uh, I gotta give it to the 68. <laughs> I, like, I, I, I got you. I got you. I have the 68. Oh, wait, 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 guys, 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 I just realized, okay, in my time and Rich's time, it's 12.01 a.m. Has our live stream already cut off? No, no, we got, like, technically five minutes left. All right, we need to say goodbye to everybody before we get cut off. Well, goodbye to John first. Well, I don't know what happened to John. Oh, shit, that's right. He's still there. Oh, yeah, what happened to John? I don't know. I, I, mean, I tried adding him back. Let's see, maybe he can come in for the last five minutes. Man, he's, I mean, the point of this, oh, God, I can't believe we did this for four hours. Like, well, <laughs> hey, you were late, dipshit. Only, I've uh, only been here for two and a half hours. But it's still. only 8.55 here, guys. Hey, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to start another one up if you want. No, I got I to gotta eat some dinner. I'm, oh, I, oh, yeah, here comes the excuses now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, keep, I'll keep going if you want I'm to, I'm only man. kidding, David. <laughs> like, what the hell? I'm for the next one. David, I, I, what I the hell? Him. You gotta set your priorities straight, man. Nerds first. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, I was only joking with you, man. No, nah, dude. Hey, dude, are you growing out? I saw that thing on Facebook. Are you growing out your beard, man? I am. What do you think? Grow it. Grow it. Not bad, dude. You got that whole, like, uh, what's this, uh, Wolverine look to you, man. I'll, I'll take that as a compliment. Absolutely. That is a compliment. <laughs> yeah. I'm not being a dick. That is a compliment. Absolutely, yeah. But, you know, we'll, we'll see how far I can actually tolerate it, but right. we'll get a little. I'll, I'll grow until the new year and see what happens. Exactly. At least, man, you can grow a beard. Like I have a natural chin strap thing. This is how it grows in. Wait, you tell me you don't have to shave that. <laughs> no, no, it naturally grows what? in as a Son chin of strap. A bitch, man. <laughs> I gotta shave like every every hour. Me too. Uh... Me too. <laughs> This is All only right. like two weeks. Look at this. Two weeks. That's two weeks? Okay. Awesome. I ain't made it. I ain't made it. Yeah. 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 What do you got? Two years on yours? 
I Are we all comparing beauty tips? tips on the evolutionary hey, hey, hey tell, Wendy to, tell Wendy to back off. <laughs> <laughs> like that'll ever happen. Oh, shit. Come on, Chris. <laughs> Crack the whip, Chris. Crack the whip. <laughs> huh? Well, sure, sure. What's she you. doing in there anyway? <laughs> okay, David. I gotta stay out of her way. <laughs> we got three David. minutes left until the show cuts off, but we'll All still right, be David, here. I'm not being we'll rude in here. In her form, but how old are you? Are you in your 40s? Still? I am in my 40s. Okay, I figure you for like 43. I'm an old motherfucker. A little, a little bit higher than that. 46. One, one year higher than you're only 40. You're 47? Yes. You don't look like that, dude. Thank you. I would Thank not you. say that. I'd say either 41 to 43. Okay, I'll take I, I I knew I liked you for many reasons. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. That's okay. I like me too. Samson, you're you're 12? <laughs> no. 13? Oh, snap. Oh, no, I'm I'm kingdom. I got the whole kingdom. <laughs> You have no idea. Like, my puberty <laughs> broke in at nine. I can go with this fucking facial hair, man. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, hey, Sam, does that mean you're, what, what nine and a half? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> like annoying orange. Hey, <laughs> orange. Thanks. I love you, too. <laughs> hey, hey, Godzilla, man. man. Give me a... Fucking minute! Stop trying to message me and right Rich, now. You're pissing me off. Rich, man, you're what? Tw you said twenty nine. I'm gonna be thirty in December. Thirty, dude. You look uh, like you're oh like twenty two. You're such a child. Thank Am you. I, the youngest I, one look, here? I haven't shaved. <laughs> I haven't shaved in like two days. Am I the youngest one here? Is that? Yep. What I'm the oldest. Yeah. I'm forty two. I'm oh my God. forty seven. Nobody How cares, old? Wendy. How Go old? right. <laughs> And Rich, you're a you. Rich, you're a bastard. I know, I don't care. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm going to cut this off, and I'm going to say we have, like, probably two and a half minutes left. We got about, like, four minutes. One. I just got the message. Five <laughs> minutes left. Okay, well, whatever. We should probably, like, say goodbye before it cuts off. We don't need we're to... Not gonna get, hey, we're not going to get kicked off out of here. We're just going to get stop broadcasting on YouTube. No, no, but it'll be like, oh, my God, this figure is so amazing. Yeah, it will be like it will be like the end credits of like a fucking movie. Like, oh my god, what happened? <laughs> Wait till next time, the second weekend, or the last weekend of October, or the first weekend of November, because that's when this shit's gonna continue. Next yeah. month on on next month on <laughs> Fresh Final Live Street, we have Richard hey, Eso, David Hubbard. That's right. And think about it. By this time, by next live stream, we're gonna have Kiru, we're gonna have Godzilla sixty two, and hopefully Space Godzilla. Woohoo! I won't. I watched the trailer. Oh, that's right. Nova eight, hey, November third, Godzilla's fifty ninth birthday. Legendary and Warner Brothers are supposed to release something. The trailer, <laughs> teaser, or the real trailer. November third. Sam's got the shocker up. Don't want to know what that's about. I got crooked pinkies too. <laughs> I've got a hitchhiker's thumb. <laughs> I've got a I've got a fucked up ring finger. <laughs> How? Um, I don't. I don't know. I got a dippy ding ding. <laughs> got a dippy ding -ding. Oh, there we go. There we go. Wait, wait, right here. <laughs> oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can do that. Yeah. Too. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. That's all kingdomish. All whole kingdomish. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Give a big shout out to Ben Wagner. Yeah, Ben Wagner, you. man. You, you bastard! I hate you. You are a son of a a biscuit. Oh, Evil man. Ben. He, he, you know right. what? He's my not, name's not Ben Wagner, him. and I have the best Godzilla figures ever. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Hey, what were you saying? I said he's on there somewhere in some alias. So just hey, be hey, careful. Who was it? Dude, yeah, he's got right. like Dan. he's got like twenty dupe accounts. It's I insane. Did, Dan, didn't you say you like caught on to him? <laughs> Like just a few a week ago he, or yeah. so. Henry Smith on our group, the guy, he was baiting me because he knows I like CCP, so he was baiting me so that he could friend me, so that he could get to Scott, who is the guy who helped me expose Ben in the first place. <laughs> Scott McNutt, Scott McNutt, who's a member McNutt, of our group. Is last name McNutt? 
Yeah, no, that guy, dude, he's, he's made a lot of custom, like, stuff. Oh, I don't for me. man. I just am like, nut. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, say what you will, but, man, Scott has Scott has done some done a few solids for me, man. He's done some cool stuff like, uh, as far as his his work that he's done with custom subtitling yeah. things. And, man, he, he's the one who had I – was, I was totally hooked by Ben Wagner. He had me tricked. I thought he was a 40-year-old dude that worked for Pioneer Translator. Scott, uh, he exposed Ben in a kind of a crazy way, but if it weren't for Scott, I wouldn't have been able to get Ben kicked out of TK. But I'm deal still dealing with Ben. The guy, Ben, he's a kid. He's 12 years old. He, he started threatening us. Like, Dan Mason isn't even my real name. I'm Dan Petter. He, start, he was going to threaten – he was going to threaten this guy named Dan Mason that lives down the street from me that I didn't even know existed, and he was going to start threatening my girlfriend. Ben oh. Wagner is a total wackadoosh, and uh, so you can thank Scott McNutt for pointing out McNutt. and helping me expose this little fucker. McNutt. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hey, hey, this is about to end, so I just want to say thank you for everybody who watched. Thank you for, for Chris, Dan, Eric, David, Rayu. Oh, well, that's me and Sam for making it when he made it. So check you guys later. We'll see you in the next live stream. Bye, Vinyl. Fresh Vinyl. <laughs>